one, two. Those. In that case, I'm keeping mine. <laughs> waka, yeah. waka, waka. Flock of flame. All right. Mm-hmm. Welcome. This is this is DM night number five, mm-hmm. or number four for me, out of <laughs> I don't know how many days. I'm running three games again this week. I ran three last week. I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I say? I don't feel bad for you. You should not feel bad for me. Because this is the only one that matters. I'm just kidding. I love all my He's games. Not kidding. <laughs> this is the one I feel like I work the hardest for, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, 60, what, four episodes? Yeah. I, 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 I genuinely cannot fathom the fact that we've done this consistent, this long. You guys are still not hating the campaign. I love it. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> We're still here. We talk about it off air. That's fair. We keep that's our fair. personal problems. That that's fair. Okay. I think we should shout out the Rays for like Yeah, the Rays. The welcome back. Rays, welcome yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. So Rays, if you're listening you in the Rays. future on <laughs> podcast <laughs> or live or what we don't I don't really know because we don't really know what's been going on with you lately. But welcome back. And how's the future? And how is the future? The future? Yeah. Do we have the flying cars that's yet? That's yeah. what I want to know. Yeah. yeah. We need those. yeah. Later. Anyway, we are the Initiative Syndicate. Tonight we're gonna continue on our campaign in Ravnica. Uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, what? I thought we were playing Pathfinder. <laughs> I this maybe was... next campaign. Maybe, maybe we can try a new system if you guys want. It sounds like Hero Quest. I thought this I'm was like over aggressive. Of I don't think I it's like basically. One, it's it's almost entirely <laughs> the same uh, game. This is candy candy like. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I thought we were, were playing play, the playing Hello Kitty Adventures. Anyway, uh, I feel like it's good every now and then to kind of do a little brief around the table, uh, reintroduce the characters, <laughs> who's playing said characters, and just just real quick, we're gonna we're gonna go we're, we'll make we're gonna go counterclockwise. We'll start with well, my man over well, here. Just tell them who you are and who you're playing, and, and all right, just all right. anything else you feel like saying. Plus, I gotta give him the opportunity to say badass sure. a couple of times. So that's yeah, just gonna be that one word you said quick. So. <laughs> All right, uh, my name's Rob. Uh, uh, I'm playing our level eight wizard, level four cleric, um, necromancer, grave domain. Um, I like I, I like dead things and, and bring them back to life. Um, and yeah, I've apparently been secretly hoarding three superior potions of healing in my backpack <laughs> without ever realizing it. So I'm gonna probably hand those out later. Um, yeah, that's that's all I'm here. He said probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. We'll see. Uh, see I'm... It's my turn. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, I hear I get one. <laughs> <laughs> sure runes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Jesse. I play Skrizna, your uh, level six bard, level six artificer. <clears throat> I'm on. <clears throat> well, it's your turn. Um, I lost my train of thought, just right like Scrizz. He's over tweeting like, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> I'm a badass goblin, and I have badass artificer powers and badass bard powers, and I have badass bardic inspiration that I'm not sharing with dumbass Rocky today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stop at the badasses there and move on. Go dead ass. All right, I'm dead ass. Also known as Check Gunner. Also known as Elvin Winsoul. I almost said your name. Just kidding. <laughs> you better not. You're a fucking side character. That would have been weird. <laughs> um, I die a lot. I don't heal. I don't really know what I do. Well, I'm an all-around player. <laughs> Some pretty good damage. You mispronounced ass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm the most loved and most hated at the same time. Mm, you got one part of that right. I feel. I feel like fifty percent accurate. That's like half right. <laughs> yeah. Works sixty percent of the time. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. Is that my turn? You didn't say done or pass. Oh, uh, pass turn. Okay. Resolve. Thank you. <laughs> On the stack. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, sorry. My name's Bill. I play Rocky. He's awesome. And I can't say badass now. Because it's taken. He's a paladin. Uh, know that multi-class bullshit. He is a straight-up level 12 Path of Vengeance paladin. And 
he's got a real badass hammer, a badass face, personality, uh, badass hooves, and he likes peanut butter M&Ms. And mm. past turn. Not only did Rocky have great character growth, but Bill's hair grew. <laughs> yeah. Over the, the start, hair grows nice with the over very nice. This what the he looks like heavy. like super like proper when you not not the yeah, I, I like the hair. He shows up in a button up shirt, D and D button up shirt. He looked Slick just hair. he looked shirt. legit yeah. as fuck, guys. Let's not even front. <laughs> I had like a hard part going. Real yeah, nice Joe. I, I just watched like the clip of the very first stream. Like the one where we had like the test thing where I, I played Vecna very badly, I might add. Because <laughs> you guys whooped that Vecna ass. Yeah. He's a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's not anymore. I figured out how to play him. <laughs> bad things in my campaign. I think I'm going to fight him. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Anyway, go on. Okay. I am the other Jess. Happy I've six been... months. <laughs> Woo! Six months anniversary. I'm the newbie, kind of. Um, I play Navenna. Um, Transmutation wizard. I wear a long patchwork coat. I look kind of homeless. Right. So like, I guess I kind of fit in with these guys. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You say we look homeless. I feel like well, Rocky you guys definitely is not. Home? But you probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Oh, he comes probably. Oh, he looks like a homeless guy that died in some way. He looks like he yeah. fucking escaped the, the mortuary. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he just looks like a, I mean, what is it, a, God, what do you think, Dave Chappelle? Like the crackhead Dave Chappelle? <laughs> <laughs> got, got any more than them zombies? I'm hoarding them. I'm hoarding them. <laughs> <laughs> got any books? <laughs> got any more than skeletons? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, I am Nictus, a.k.a. Kevin. Uh, I am the Dungeon Master. I play all of the other NPCs, all of the other characters. I try to keep this crazy thing in order and running and flowing. Most of the time I succeed, but I can't say all of the time because there have been a few fails. But for the most part, it's been, uh, it's been good. It's been, been a good time. We're going now into, we're heading, this is our second year. Uh, we'll be second year in August. That'll be our anniversary for the thing. I'm hoping we actually can have this thing wrapped up before then so we can start the next campaign. Woo. But uh, we will see. Are we all cutting our hair? No. Nope. <laughs> no. We're all playing goblins also. Oh, yeah. Oops, um, all goblins. You got, I figured you guys were going to play all bards. Oops, be, all a, bard. be a traveling band. Goblin bards. Oh, yep. I'd I love to like play it. a board. I've never... P.S. Uh, I think we're voting, and I think we've all decided that we're gonna pick what he plays next. Ooh. Yeah. I'm thinking I, robot, I, I, mimic someone else. No, I, I got it. <laughs> Tell me this is not the perfect character for him. Rogue bard. Yeah, probably. You're well, always trying to fun. steal shit. And you never. Let and you steal always shit. have these like one-liners, and I'm like, well, I don't know why you're not a bard or a rogue. Because you're not a bard. Yeah, because it's not funny. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go into the. Uh, <laughs> The recap of uh, a harsh night. <laughs> last week's session. Man. I actually got my Promotion notes here. Look at all these yeah. fucking hey, notes from recap. Look at that. Yeah, they're not not bad. I think Steve Bill's might notes. be better, but yeah, let's, let's Bill's see. like, I have seven pages, rookie. Uh, I think I took two page, full pages of notes. I think I quit after session three. Uh, you guys went into the the field of bones, <laughs> which is deep in the underdark, uh, looking that. for the uh, entrance into a Nephilim uh, temple. Um, you believe that uh, the temple is a place of worship for one of the ancient malevolent gods of Ravnica um, that are not really worshipped anymore. Most people don't even know that they exist. Uh, the, fir the beginning of the session, you guys finished off your battle with some manticores and some giants. Um, you guys uh, ended up killing uh, manticore master Falco, or Falto, not Falco. Um, you guys found some cool new items. Um, some of you guys had some disturbing dreams last week while you were on your way to and from. Um, and you heard a, uh, a voice telling you, I hope that you're prepared. Which talked to all of you. Two of the members of the party had more detailed dreams showing the entire process of how illithids reproduce how they make new elithids, and uh, it's it's gross, as in they, they plant something in your head. It's on brain hub. <laughs> and uh, your skull explodes, therefore you become an elithid. That's the skull fucking right there. Uh, we also learned some stuff about Navenna last uh, week. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we learned that her father, I believe the name is Zarum, mm -hmm. 
uh, is actually still alive. And she also has daddy issues. He believes that he might be in Phyrexia, but he's not sure. Um, he contacted her through her magic compact, which she uses to contact her family. Um, she also warned him to not try and find him, just to leave him be. Um, she also learned about his secret schematic book, and within that schematic book, she learned that not only is uh, her heart mechanical, but so is her mother's. And her mother's is probably malfunctioning, which is why it's causing the issues with her being sick for the last however long she's been sick, many years now. Um, Skriznit seemed like he was genuinely interested in helping. He thought that this was kind of a neat thing, and um, as he's the resident artificer and always trying to like improve life on Ravnica and overall... I think if Skriz would have went another way, which that's not Skriznit's way, that Navina would have stuffed him into a pocket that would never find an, an out, and I would be lost forever. Probably. Or for about a minute until you suffocated. Until I suffocated. <laughs> the, uh, the secret schematic book that he kept hidden also had plans for making various organs and mechanical body parts, um, but all of that technology of banding flesh and steel is banned in Ravnica. Um... It was a, a law that was passed by the Azorius Senate um, <clears throat> that all basically all prosthetics and stuff cannot actually have a mechanical arcane power source. They have to be, you know, not alive or magically imbued, which is odd because Ravnica is such a magically enhanced place. You I mean, think, you I think would figure, would, like, the it would jump all over. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I think that they would try to design it and maybe pair up with the Simic and try to get it to... Mm-hmm. Kind of do well, the thing. They Terminator, so they know. They probably do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Nevena also learned her tattoos have the Phyrexian language etched in them, which none of you speak. That'd be nope. giant. <laughs> speak giant. We learned that Elvin speaks giant. <laughs> yeah, he never knew it until <laughs> the last session. Uh, and uh, as you guys woke up, eight days have passed since Elvin issued the challenge for his love between Lila and Scoffbog. Only six days will remain. I only have one love nowadays. It starts with an L. <laughs> also, you guys reached the antechamber of the Temple of the Nephilim. Uh, there were depictions that show uh, a beast with a large maw, and it was spitting beetles. You got the impression that uh, these things depicted that. The, the, the ink tread Nephilim that you were in his temple prior with the Gorgons, uh, was some sort of like a betrayer god and turned on all the other Nephilim or maybe teamed up with the other mortals to destroy or imprison the other Nephilim. Uh, also, you guys gained a level. Did what? I miss anything? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, we took a long time <clears throat> in this last one if yes. anyone needs to... Uh, yep. I don't okay. think I did. So, that's the recap. You guys are in the antechamber, the like long corridor leading into the Temple of the Nephilim. Uh, the uh, the upper like ceiling of this cavernous sort of uh, tunnel, um, the opening is probably 35, 40 feet high. It's 20 or so feet wide, so there's plenty of room to sort of move around. Um, but the rock in here along the floor and stuff, it, it kind of gives you the impression that this was all open at one point. This was not obviously underground. You you believe that this probably didn't even have a roof at one point. This It almost kind of gives you the impression of like a courtyard as you're kind of like walking through it. Um, you kind of look and, and you see where there, at maybe at some point there were like walking pavers or, or it's it's relatively still in, in, in good condition being this far down underneath the, the surface of Ravnica. Um, but how it got down here, you're not really sure. Um, the, the ceiling, for lack of a better term, is that weird sort of chitinous material that you guys saw in the the deep caverns of the uh, of your dream? What would you like to do? <clears throat> well, shall we move on? I guess so. So, before we move on. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Grizz wants to sit over there and he's just going to find something to just to make some sort of like ragtag instrument he's going to perform and I want to make sure <clears throat> um, 
It says, as an action, you can perform until the end of your turn, next turn. During that time, you and any friendly creatures within 30 feet that can hear you gain advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. Okay. Nice. So, so I'd like to go ahead and perform make, a little bit before make we head down the way. Everybody make note of that little buff that you guys got. we all have advantage for how long. It doesn't have a time period. Nice. What was it again? Uh, against being, you have uh, advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. For 30 seconds. It's 30 seconds. Also, you can't be frightened if you're within 10 feet of me. (laughs) Okay. Um, I have a spell, but I, I can't use it until we're right about to go into something. If I upcast it, I can get it on three or four of us at a time. I can't get all five. It'll give us advantage on charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Um, I'm going to take one of the slots just because if it, something gets me, that the spell's probably gone. Skriz probably needs one because he's been having problems. Elvin probably needs one because an intele- intellect devourer almost got him a while back. <laughs> I've got a high if, intel if wisdom we, if save. We, I kind of figured you would be the best to leave off. You have your own defenses, so. If we run into yeah, I've got good charisma and wisdom. As soon but as we run into something, I want to instantly cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. I thought you were just going to reciprocate cast on me. Okay. I guess we're taking precautions now. Well, we wanna just try if it. anything pops up, because Shield of Faith only lasts mm-hmm. like 10 minutes. <coughs> I mean, yeah. I, I'm not sure what lays down here. But so, I mean, I don't know more and more. At least quiet mm-hmm. a little bit, just to make sure we don't wake up any slumbering locks. Mine lasts no. for an hour, so I want to wait until. Yep. I have to unmute Bell. Fair enough. Oh. Okay. The belt of Flappy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The belt of Flappy kind. Plus being married, yeah. I can, I can always tell that Bill loves when I homebrew <laughs> things with a weird ass name. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a belt of Flappy. It's a choke collar. It's it's a cho- it's a choke collar if you're a manticore. <laughs> well, you see me wearing it like it's a choke collar, but it's just hanging out. I have it. That's your. Be- I have it strapped across me like I'm. John Rambo over here. No, <laughs> Chewbacca. Duh. That Dumbass. is your own choice. I offered to uh, I'm fix Skrull's it. Baca. Fucking Smeagol. It burns. It burns us. Yes. <laughs> <Delicious>. <laughs> Okay, so going forward, let's go. Going, going forward, well, uh, so walking into the uh, the double door sort of chamber way, uh, you see two large stone doors. They have what looks to be a uh, it's sort of etched into it. It it almost looks like a constellation of stars. Um, you're not. Uh, are any of you like good with astrology or astronomy or? I would go maybe history or arcana. History well, or arcana. Those two. Yeah. Arcana. If, if you if you care, I have I have lore. If you care. Lore's good. <laughs> I like lore. Yeah. Character likes lore. So, so arcana. Uh, I'd say arcana or history to see if maybe you oh, recognize okay. the constellation. Thirteen. Rocky also knows when it's nighttime and where north is. So I don't know if that this helps. is true. Thirteen, but well, that's in that one. So I've oh, never I seen did, sky I didn't my entire that. life during the night. What's that? I didn't realize that. So it has that I always know where North is, and then you know when nighttime is. I do. Is that because you're a paladin? No, just like because it gets dark out. Got it. <laughs> oh my god! I think that's inspiration because I fooled the DM. <laughs> that is an ability. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you, you, because you've got the true. I mean, Keen Mind does yeah, that. That's yeah, that's Keen Mind. But okay. Didn't you 19. get the North thing from being a Minotaur? 19? Yeah. Um, I'd say anybody that rolled over a 12, yes. uh, you would know that this constellation is known as the uh, the Scales of Justice, is what they refer to it as. Um. It's actually one of the constellations that the Boros continues to sort of hold a little bit of, I, I wouldn't say religious feelings towards it, but uh, a lot of times when they perform 
um, ceremonies or, or rituals at nighttime or even if they are at war or they haven't been at war in a while, they would often, uh, they, they believed that the, uh, the angels from the, uh, the ethereal realm were, were from the scales of justice. That, that he, they believe that's where Ar Ariella came and pretty much all angels that are in Ravnica. Yes, even the weird evil ones. So, um, these doors are made out of the same sort of like, it's, it looks as though it was made from like the stone that you guys walk upon up in the city streets, so that's sort of like cobbly gray stone. Um, but it has a weird sort of sandy sort of texture to it. Um, the temple looks old. You can't really tell exactly where the the top of the temple is as there's like sort of rock and this weird chitinous material kind of like spread across the top of it that, that continues to go on. Um, it, it looks as though part of the temple is actually above the chitinous material as if it goes up, not down. Hmm. Uh, so the uh, the large double doors are probably, I, I would say that they're probably 10, 10 feet high. Um, there's no obviously like handle of any kind, and it doesn't look as though there's any sort of like locking mechanism on the on the temple doors. What so about? Do you want to look for traps? I was about to say. Yeah. Let's yeah. Look for we should be so I'm traps gonna pull out table. my sword and check it for mimics. No mimics. Which is checking for traps by my book. Uh, I think Scrizz is gonna get towards around the bottom of the door, and he's just gonna crawl around like villain. Uh, make a. I'd say investigation check. Just come on, Scrizz. Um, you notice that there is a sort of like a draft coming from the bottom of the door. The door itself doesn't seem to come all the way down to the the base of the of the of the like the stone, um, and you get the the faintest like bit of like a cold draft coming underneath of the door, but no no actual like tr uh, trip wires or uh, you don't see any like pressure plates or anything. The, it doesn't look like there's any traps. Can I tell how thick the doors are? Look at, yeah, the, the doors themselves are probably six <laughs> to eight inches thick, solid stone. Can you slide anything underneath? Yeah, there, there's probably like a two and a half, three inch gap underneath that door. How many people can you turn into mice? Um, hold on a second. I might be able to do something else that's a bit more useful. With um, this constellation and the Boros background, do I know like any kind of chants or words that we would use along with this constellation that may be like a, you know, like a shark bait, hoo ha ha. Uh, you would know the, 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 the typical chants of the Boros, but none of them are really what I, like I said, they're not really iconography, they're not really, they're not really like worship words or they hold no real magical meaning. Uh, it, they hold more value into words such as might, honor, justice. So, can I do a check for magical traps and to see if the door in general is magical? Uh, detect magic. I wasn't sure if that was. Like is that what you were casting? Then. No. Um, if the door is not magical, I can actually turn it into. Um, a different type of material. You can turn the stone into material? As long as it's not magical. Um, and sure. it will take me time. Okay. How long? Um, ten minutes per um, one cubic foot of material. Okay. So I figure twenty minutes I can get us through without making hardly any noise at all. As long as we can squeeze through a <coughs> that small. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> I, I never skip leg day, so I got a, <laughs> I got a badonk. Your leg's probably so strong because you gotta carry Elvin, you know? Damn. Got him. Got him. Nail it. Inspiration. <laughs> yeah! Against Elvin. Yeah. Players Against giving Elvin. you inspiration is the best. <laughs> and then just for shits and gigs, while we're spending the, the minutes to do this, I'm gonna just look over at the door and say, Melon. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't look like it has a locking mechanism at all. That, that means open. that means friend and elvish. We can also just elvish. try to push it open. I'm just worried about it being loud <laughs> if we're trying to be sneaky. That's the only reason why we've been considering it. So. I don't know. I mean, 
I could I could Boros kick it open like I do. Maybe, maybe not kick maybe it open. Not kick. Maybe not kick. Push it open push? so it's not loud. Uh, okay. And then if it is loud, then I, you can do my thing. But like I said, it'll take a while. Sure. I will try and push the door open. Uh, yeah. Moderate force. Like it's <laughs> the door's a little heavy. I mean, it's it's, it's thick stone, but it, it seems like it pushes open like one of them pretty easy. Yeah, go to see. <laughs> <laughs> is it loud, is it? Uh, no, surprisingly, no. That actually makes me more nervous. There's, uh, there, again, the door itself, like I said, there's like a two or three inch gap on the bottom of this yeah, floor. It's not like it's scraping no. across the stone. The hinges seem as though they're made of some sort of... Uh, they actually look like they're made of some sort of stone material themselves. They don't even really make a scraping noise. Yeah, that was heavy. Uh, Thanks, but, Matthew. yeah, you're Is welcome. You break your foot you make <clears throat> yeah, I got strong hooves, but uh, I am a little bit worried with how this door closes, that when we're on the other side, if there ain't no handles, we, we, it'd be a little bit harder to open it up. Does you it know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, have we got the door open far enough to see if there's handles on the other side? There's no handles. Is there anything on the other side? Yeah. Okay, dangerous on the other side. Like monsters and stuff? No. Okay. Can we tell if the door only opens this way or if the hinges It open? looks as though the hinges are uh, mean for the doors to be pushed open, not pulled open. Okay, so that is a real case of concern. So Scris and I together could probably rig the doors to be um, jammed open. I've got some um, materials in my bat in my coat. Oh, you use the elephant's head. Make a door wedge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why don't you just lock He does got Cousin It with him. I mean, that little, <laughs> or, uh, the, the thing. The little hand. The hand thing. Little hand puppet. So it look like there might be a couple rocks or in a decent size where we can use to prop the doors open? Um, investigation check. Investigation. Investigation. I've got a note here. Yeah, uh, I'd say there's a couple... Nice sized rocks, not too big, not too small, that would probably be able to be wedged underneath the door. Okay. Hey, Rock, you just want to grab that rock and push it right here. Okay. I'll hold the door open. Okay. I do it. Okay. <laughs> I do okay. it. Okay. Yes. So uh, you, you have the door open. Uh, it's dark as fuck in here. There's no light. I will slap on the good old night vision goggles from. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Rocky, as you're kind of like looking around and trying to take in your surroundings, uh, this strikes you odd because this doesn't look like any kind of temple that you've ever seen or heard of or been in before. It actually looks as almost though the walls of the temple sunk from the, 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 the ground above. This looks like a big open cavernous area. It looks cave-like. There's like a big massive hole in the floor of this what would have been the main entrance way into this this temple previously? It's got that same sort of like chitinous material along the outsides of it, but then it's it's just sort of like sandy, dirty brown rocks uh, that kind of like lead down into like this big, massive, empty chamber. It just it just looks like a hollow cave. Mm. So it's a big hole. Yeah. There's oh, no okay. there's no walls. There's no way to go across the hole. It just leads down into this nothing. Can you can't you make something like like light up? Mm -hmm. Can you like light something up and see how far the hole goes? Like throw it down there. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pleased to get. Yes. I'm pleased All to be right, nice. I'll give you a healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pleased to be nice. Uh, what's so much different? Uh, is, you know is there like any sand kind of material? There's or, like, like dirt, loose sort of soil. It's sort of like gritty dirt. Yeah. Well, while he's doing that, kind of take a handful and just kind of, I don't know, like chuck it up in the air a little bit to see if there's, I'm thinking Temple of Doom here right now, or <laughs> Last Razor Crusade. Lost, the, la, yeah, that's one. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, so it's like invisible somewhere. Okay, so, uh, so you kind of like just kind of throw it out there? Yeah, just kind of give it a little chuck. It falls into the cavernous area. Here's what I want to do. So what is considered... So a goblin's considered small. Yeah. So anything like, like my cod piece, would that be considered tiny? <laughs> 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 They're the size of my cod piece. 
Ah, peace. Well, I feel like <laughs> you set yourself up for that. exactly. What does the the book describe the piece as? Well, is it like a, an actual mechanical because device? I can, yes, it can stay where it's at, or I can make it where it's a movable thing. So what I want to do is bring it out of the cod piece. You know, when I flop it down and it's right there to shoot, I would like to you know pull it off of there, out of the cod piece, put the cod piece pad back uh, up, and you just like the, it's. A I wall. would say artificers are kind of like the masters of their own. Devices. I would say that it could be anything up to a medium creature, and if you but played a, it in your I, mind, I wanted a tiny. It's always kind of been like a tiny creature. Well, yeah. It, just think if it's then, like a cod piece, and you just flopped it out. I, I'm good. I'm good with it basically being like whatever. It's like you, a tiny little flame bl- uh, flamethrower. Yeah. I'm 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 fine with it being the size up to a medium creature okay. that you would. Uh, that well, because I can only imbue tiny things. No, I'm fine with that. Like I, I always kind of feel like it's been sort tiny of dancers. like a. A, a smaller than you yeah. object anyway, so. Okay, that's enough talking about my cop piece of mouth. How does it open again? You're so like three, you're you're like, like, you're like three feet out. tall, bro. Like, I'm not no, even no, trying to be mean. No, so here's, Chris is going to pull the, the walking flame piece okay. out. Like the flamethrower. Got the little gonna, ATST. Like, as soon as it lays it's laying on the ground, you just see the legs go, <laughs> come out on it, and it pushes itself up, and I'm going to imbue it with the magical light okay and i'm gonna send it forward Mazel all right top. it's a boy <laughs> so uh so this thing's sort of like that, the, the the back legs they were sort of like wrapped around and locked into this latchet on the sides of your belt as they sort of like pop off because you kind of like tap the top of it and it flops out and you see this almost like little mechanical sort of like red lensed eye that's where the normally where the belt buckle part of it would be uh, it sort of like moves around. You see almost like this like little bit of like light coming from it as it like pops off, forms into like this little tiny walking robot and just starts glowing all around and starts just Chris down in my cockpit. How far are you allowed to like send it? Feet. Thirty feet. I think it's thirty feet. Okay. So uh, it kind of follows down in the path. Uh, it, it doesn't even really look like a set of steps. It just looks like sort of like a cavernous sort of winding path down. Um, as the, the little, the little uh, machine is sort of moving, you see that the, the pathway down is sort of this like winding, almost serpentine sort of coiled shape. Um, and you could fall off the side going down very easy and you're not sure exactly how far down it goes. Um, as it kind of walks... Yeah, it's a small or tiny eldritch. You don't see any... Uh, you don't really see any like doors or anything. It just it just looks like this winding path down. Spooky. Well, <coughs> before we go down this hole, assuming that's where we go, mm-hmm. I'm gonna hand these three, including the one that's missing. Uh, uh, each Sorry, it can only go fifty feet. Okay. Healing. Okay. But it has to stay within sixty feet of me. Okay. Um, so. What'd you do? Sorry. I'm giving you. Elvin and Rocky at the potion of obscure healing because I have enough oh. uh, spells I can cast this anyway. Let me slap the DM. <laughs> okay. So, where to? And we'll follow the little little cannon. Okay. Uh, the 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 little the little cannon is. It's tiny little legs are pretty quiet as it moves. Um, you keep most of your your machinery in like really, I would say like tip top working shape, uh, simply because you know how delicate and with springs and coils and, and 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 stuff they can be. So out of all the stuff that you possess, your machines always look immaculate. My cop piece doesn't. You shine. look dirty, <laughs> right? And you love that, but your machines are all shined, polished. Uh, they're oiled. They're they're kept in. The best shape. Whenever you get like a scratch or anything on it, you are pulling out like the sandpaper and at nighttime, like polishing it down, buffing it down. Got my brass out. Uh, as far as like washing washing your face or anything, nah, you're not doing that. But sandpaper. So uh, your little machine sort of kind of wanders down. Uh, the, the little twisting path seems like it, it descends. How far do you want to follow it? Because it, it goes down for a pretty good long way. I'm going to follow behind it, stay within. 40 feet of it, 30, I'm going to let it get ahead a little bit just in case, okay. but I'm going to stay at least 30 to 40 feet behind it. Okay. Was there any other options of anywhere to go aside nope. from in there? All right. No, it's solid rock ceiling. And that's where we go. Um, no doors. There's no way to, like, jump over the pit. Mm-hmm. The The pit itself, is. it's probably, like, 
35, 40 feet across. Can we see what's across it? A wall. That's just a it. Big, okay. A big cavernous wall, like I said. It looks gotcha. like the like the the first three walls of of a temple or a chamber like sunk down into the ground. So the whole time I'm following, I guess I'm leading behind it. I'm wearing my shield up with like the crossbow propped on top of it. Okay. Um, are you guys following? Yeah. yeah. Stealthily? I would say as so. As much as possible. Yeah. This is a particularly stealthy Great group. Great group stealth check. <laughs> okay. Well, that's grit. Thank you. Nice. It's a good way to start the night. I got a night one. I got what? I'm going to roll for it. With my plus four. Good. You're giving him guidance, too. Nat one for you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Give guidance, please. Who? Oh, you got a 12. Four of that came from a guidance. I got the big old D. Four of that came from a guidance. Yeah. Do what? I got the big old D here. Disadvantage. It's not the most exterior. I think, huh? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, Scris is more worried about watching his machine. A zero? Three. Oh. Mm. So, well, at least I mean, the first 25. Thing, I got a nat one. One, well, three? Well, a five with you if you add my... You guys suck at stealth. I know, right? It's the average, and unfortunately, they're bringing the curve down, bro. I know. Five. The average is going to be like nine. Mm. I thought that you had a tie or something. <laughs> it could be like a bow tie. Who's in the... Uh, can you guys define your marching order, please? Rocky yeah. is uh, probably second now. Yeah, the two quietest up front. Um, <laughs> I could probably stay in here. I think you're off the back. I technically do have my skeletons, too, so those probably aren't the quietest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, roll for your skeletons. Not all of them, just one. We'll call just one skeleton roll. Maybe they'll help the Maybe they'll help the group average. Can't hurt plus two. Much. Thought you were blindfolding yourself. <laughs> well, it's an eight. It's <laughs> better than the three and the one. <laughs> Still not very good. Um, so I feel like they'd probably be around, like behind me. They're like walking into the wall. Yeah. Okay. So um, you continue to walk down the pathway. It seems to descend. Uh, I would say it probably goes down. Like forty feet into the into the ground, uh, before you reach like it's basically like a flat bottom that opens up into a much larger cavern. The if you were facing the direction of the temple doors, it seems like it goes underneath where the where where you guys just came in. It looks almost like it goes under or through the field of bones. Hmm. Not surprising. Where to? Okay. Still going. Mm -hmm. Feeling brave. I like it. So, I guess since uh, we're not being the most. I usually pick on you. Rob, uh -oh. roll a d20. Rob, or. Alright, which one? Which dice do I want to fuck That's this over? That's a d20. Today? It's got 20 sides. <laughs> no, I was deciding which one I wanted to fuck this over. A 16. Yeah, fuck you and your net one. Roll a d4. Okay. Uh oh. One. Uh -oh. I think that's what I think I, I know what that is. Oh my god. Uh -oh. He's got the smirk. Oh, those are gonna be good. Oh god. Yeah, he's got the smirk. They smash my little cards. Damn it, dice, you fucked me over again. <laughs> well, to answer your previous statement, yeah, there's gonna be some combat. Yes! Ooh! We are. Okay, you better stay good. I was, I was, I meant to, te to that's still good text enough. you or remind you about the skeletons. Oh, I got them. Okay, good. School was hectic. I don't know if you know this or not, but like, I. Usually. <laughs> Plus, like, I bought Daddy this shit. Chris. I'm playing with it, alright? Heck yeah. I'm playing with my copies, too. Alright. That was a big map. Yeah, it's not that bad. Right. It looks, like, way bigger than it actually is. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> She's never said that. Man. In the history of forever. Oh, wait, we're still in the air, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I miss our private games sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to kind of describe this while I'm setting this up. Um, as you get down into like the bottom cavernous area, 
you see that like there's a few of these like sort of like arch stoned pathways uh, with like rocks and stuff coming off of them, like stalactites, sharp, uh, sharp little pointy bits. It looks like a almost like a aisle of like moss, right? Uh, they seem to lead off in several different directions. Um, some of them are above you. It almost kind of looks like a honeycomb. There's not as many uh, holes. Uh, there's there's probably a dozen different like little honeycomb looking like cavernous chambers. So, um, as you are uh, entering into this, um, who's in the front? Me. It's Christmas. Oh my, it's car piece. Car piece. <laughs> Roll a. You have dark vision, right? Yes. Great. Yeah, Roll a perception vision. check. Perception is not my best. <laughs> not you should pick that one. <laughs> And it stays not my best. How'd you I do? got a seven. Oh, not so good. And it's going to get port. I'm still just too busy watching my little uh, flamethrower <laughs> walking forward. <laughs> Alright, so good. The uh, you don't notice immediately. Uh, you actually almost run into it as you're kind of moving because it, it sort of blends in with the the large sort of like rock structures that are sort of here and there. Um, but you kind of, you almost walk right into this like sort of like pink fleshy floating thing with tendrils. Oh. Mm. It does not seem to notice you. You kind of stop at the last second. Almost. Do we notice this too? So this even point? though the, the little flamethrower what it do just walk like right underneath it and I'm too busy just paying attention I'm just getting slapped in the face with pink tentacles you almost walk right in the back of it the only reason that you notice it is because you watch it kind of go underneath and you notice the light mm. it, like that goes out like for a second almost like something moved in front of it and you kind of look up and you go oh shit you actually say oh shit <laughs> you know I won't be like like I get that so you're saying it's like right here like it's almost like less than a foot from you. Yeah, it's pretty close. Now I'm going to turn around and rock and be like, help. <laughs> but I think I'm going to try to try to be quiet, but I think being excited that I almost walked into the ass of something. I'm going to be like, no, rock me. Yeah, I feel like when he says that, I'll be like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to end up using the entire That's map. You guys have to use this at stuff okay. right on the edges or whatever. That's totally okay. That's what so, Rocky does. <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, Rocky be like, what, you uh, you don't want to lead no more? Like, not really worried about being quiet? What the? Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know what about. I think I'm also oh, trying to motion towards the flamethrower to stop. I'm like, fuck, but I don't want to so see you like. Guys you guys sort of like descended. Uh, it, right here is fine. Like this is sort of like the opening. And then there's a few of these like, almost like. Uh, Are we going this way or the other way? Well, uh, you guys came kind of in from okay. this way. Son of a bitch. You're good. <laughs> Just put it down. Here, you want to use that as my little tripod? Yep. Pardon me, you are tripod. I'm going to space these out a little bit better. So it's probably a little bit further ahead of us. I said we were about 30 feet from it, so. Mm -hmm. So you have to roll initiative for that thing. No, it's it's a bonus action to use. Nice. You see, like, sort of like three of these, like, larger uh, archway chambers. Do you, have, do you know how to cam map? And it came with those like little cool clippy things, because man, those those mats a lot of times are super cool, but they're, they're 
Do you remember the ocean map? Until I got like laid flat, that thing sucked. Yeah. It was terrible. But once yeah, I got it, it like flattened out, it was great. Yeah, not very portable though. Like. No. Flattened out. Looks a lot like our cracking fight. Kind of similar. So I have a D and D playlist, and one of the songs is called "We're All Gonna Die." <laughs> Elvis Checks play out. song is "Of the Bottles Hit the Floor." <laughs> yep. The bottles. That was on repeat. <laughs> the only song. <laughs> it's the only, it's the only song he even likes. Yeah. It's the only song he even listens to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't let us in. We have the pass. You know, pass the the door. <laughs> he definitely would change it. <laughs> that would be funny. He changes it. We all can't. He's like, it. I'll show those fucking guys. <laughs> Assholes gonna, make fun of me every Nick. fucking week. He's gonna, he's gonna change it and then forget to tell us. <laughs> So the cannons match go out regardless of size. The cannon has an AC of 18 and a number of hit points equal to five times your artificial le artificer level. That's not terrible. No. So, you know, 30, 30 hit points. That's pretty right. It's almost as high as Elvin. <laughs> Beat me to it. It's more than my skeleton. <laughs> Skeletons don't have that much. Gotten a couple sets of bones and just stashed, stashed them in the bag or something. True, but I can read. I agree. I agree. All right, this cavern is looking here. Great. Glad we all agree. That's cool. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like those because I can't bring them built like the other warlock tiles, but you can kind of just like throw them down on there and yeah. and, and use them a little bit easier. So, um, this fleshy sort of thing that's in front of me. Uh, it's more of a flesh-toned color than pink. Like a dark... Like I said, it almost kind of blends in with the rocks. Mm -hmm. What you thought was floating, it's actually like standing up on top of a... Uh, it's actually standing up on some rocks. Ooh, that's a face for radio. <laughs> so. It has not noticed you yet. But what about the little flamethrower that, that it walked like right underneath it? And it kind of like almost walked right in between its legs. Does it not seem to react to the light? No. Mm. That's a good observation. No, it's surprised so it's got blinds. No, it would have well, noticed the robot. Could have just not been like loud enough. Is it like it. moving at all? Is it breathing? Can we see it shift at all? Um, do you have dark vision? I have my goggles on. Uh, you see its tendrils sort of like mm -hmm. moving around a little bit. I wouldn't say they're like breathing. So it's just idle right now. Like it. It looks like when off a beetle too. It looks like you stroke your face. Yeah, it kind of does. I'm trying to find the name of this monster because I can't pronounce it. Rock monster. <laughs> Not a rock. 
Uh, it's called an Odigu. Odifu. Never heard of that. Hold on, I got the annunciation right here on D and D Beyond. <laughs> they they yeah. actually announce it. They pronounce the name because I have no idea how to fucking say this. Yeah, that's always helpful. On some of them, yeah, like some of those uh those deities and stuff, I have no idea how yeah, to say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's an O T Y. All right, so you spell it O T Y U G H. Okay, interesting. I feel like you guys fought one of these before. I don't remember it. Odiug. Odiug. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't ring any bells. Odiug. Odiug. Um, Odiug. Okay. So the thing just walks under between its legs and just keeps on. Yeah, I mean it, it does what you tell it to do. It doesn't really have any like free will or whatever. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and I'm trying to. Just, I'm sending. I'm like stop. Like just stop. Uh, that, I mean you control it. Does it stop? Yeah. Okay, so it kind of stops. It's like not quite past him. Uh, you kind of see this. Uh, you hear the sort of like snarling. <laughs> And it, and it kind of you, you feel like where its face would be it sort of like turns to the side and you see this like big gaping maw with these sharp pointed jagged teeth um, as you kind of are now getting a sort of like better look at it, it it's taking its little like little whippy tendrils each one of them have these like sort of like maws almost like a Venus flytrap on the edge of it with uh, equally sharp pointed teeth uh, and it sort of slowly reaches its little tendril down towards your mechanical, <laughs> your mechanical pet. Very slowly. What do you want to do? It's your pet. It's not mine. Mine's back here with me. I'm gonna be like, as soon as it's like reaching down to it, I'm like, the rock food. Yeah. How you doing? It might the time. It might want to be ready. You want me to just. Hit the thing. No. And whisper on three and like start preparing a spell. So, yeah. The road. And so, be ready. No. Uh, so I'm gonna be like, I'll be like, burn him. <laughs> okay. So you see the the little thing turns around and goes, looks up as, as it's coming down like towards it and just like, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, make an attack roll. You have advantage because it's not expecting an attack. Okay, thank goodness for advantage. Ooh, almost a crit. Um, oh, which rich, 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 should be a plus five on top of that, so twenty-four. Okay. I think that's what uh, yeah, twenty-four is definitely gonna hit. And that's gonna be two D eight of fire damage. Nice. Wait, it says uh can excels fire in an adjacent fifteen foot cone. Each creature in that area must take make a dexterity oh, saving no, throw against your save. save DC. I see. So I think it's like a 13. Dexterity saving throw? All right, let's see. He's not great at that. Oh, no, that's definitely a fail. <laughs> okay. I rolled a three. So he takes full damage <laughs> instead of half. That's nice. Like burns me. And he takes 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. Um, as uh, as your as your uh, cannon erupts a, a jet of flame, it lights up the, the further half of the cavern. Um, and you catch the faintest movement of more tentacle whipped things yeah. uh, off of one of the upper levels as you hear this sort of and, and it sort of jumps down. I'm going to need everybody to roll for initiative. And as this whole blast is going off, it, uh, you hear a voice, a familiar voice, one you haven't heard in a while. Well, You've never sucks. heard, but you guys have. Oh, my, my old friends. Brings you in. Do we recognize the voice? Yeah, it's definitely a voice you've heard before. Can I remember who it is? 
Uh, you haven't heard from them in a while, so it's not ringing any bells, mm. but definitely familiar. Who the fuck is this guy? Well, it would have been before you, because you don't recognize it. I would say make a, uh, say a wisdom check to see if you can recall anything. That's not bad. Ooh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a nine. Twenty-one. 21. <laughs> 21. Thirteen. There's something in the way that he presents his voice that sounds familiar to you. Um, you believe that you have seen this person perform on a stage before, probably back in the Hellfire Club. Holy shit. <sighs> is it the brother? No way. Tor is it, was it Tormund? Tormund. Yeah, Tormund, yep. I think. The stunted short one? Yeah, owner of Nightclub, bro of Copernicus, Tormund. You kind of see this like puff of smoke, and uh, over where uh, one of the other caverns is, you see a winged cambion dressed in plate mail armor and holding a, a sword. You guys play that song together. You guys are bros. Yeah. I mean, I should. I would really like. Do I? We all see him. Evil. You definitely see him. I'm like I broke my flute, or we could go for round two, man. Oh, unfortunately, this is not a social call. You are trespassing. We were expecting you, though. I thought we were like this. Now we're like this. We were, but my employer, you know, business is business. It's not personal. On the plus side, they don't plan on completely eradicating you from the face of Ravnica. What an ass. What would your brother say? You being an asshole like this. Probably not much. I killed him. You know, sometimes the weak must fall to build the foundations for a stronger future. You know what? You're right. I'm going to huck my, cha- my hammer at him. Okay. Nice. I'm going to give you one last, that's, that's all you get, surprise attack. Okay. Uh, that's a dex save, I believe. Ooh, I'm so excited. I get to use some of my new toys. Oh, shit, it's So you can tell me who is who. Okay. So you got a little dwarfy guy, a like nice. gnomey guy, a sword guy, and a wizard guy. Love it. Nice. I believe we yeah. fought that guy before. We have. And that guy. I think we fought all the skeletons. Probably. I only have so many skeletons. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so did you did you guys roll for the initiatives? Uh, we didn't say. Uh, what is it? Oh, oh he did say. They're like Uglas or something like that. Otoyeg. Otoyeg. It's uh, O O T Y U G H A G G H. Otoyeg. Yeah. All right. So, um... It's a deck save from you. Unless, would I be able to d- just close and hit him, or is my option really just, like, chuck him? He's going to have disadvantage because he did not expect the attack. So I'm going to give him disadvantage on the deck save. Okay. You don't make an attack roll, right? It's just you just throw right. it. Right, yeah, it's like a fireball. So like disadvantage on the deck save is a... Wow, his dex is high as hell. But she, I think he still failed. It's an 11. Yep, he failed, so that is 6d6. 6d6. So that's 8. 14. 19, 20, 20, 22 damage. 22 damage. Uh, yeah, 20, oh yeah, 20 foot radius too, so it'll hit this guy. So a deck save on those. I don't know if it's the other one. 
So that's going to be a 21 on the uh, the far Odiug, yeah, and the one on the cliff. Would it hit he got a crit and a 16, so plus is plus two. So an 18 and a 22. Okay, so those two save, but Tormund fails. They take half, though, right? It's like half. 11? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, 11 would be half. Does it just hit enemy or anybody else in that? That's true. Fair point. Just it explodes in a 20 foot radius, so I would probably say everything. So I gotta do what? Dex, right? Dex save of 15. So what would it be its dex? Probably plus 20. What's it taking to? Alright, um. Uh, I guess dex 13, so. Oh, that's its hit DC. That's so, um, did you have a stash report? It's in there. Mm. What's its bonus to initiative? Or it probably didn't have one. Um, ability score as a ten. If it is forced to make an ability check, treat all of its ability scores as a ten. Oh, okay. So plus, plus zero. zero. Plus zero. And it's a what? Fifteen. Uh, that uh, it does that's fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> so you, Damn it, I wasted it on him. <laughs> he takes 11. Okay, Tyler. Oh, that was you, though. And 11 damage to your Pekka. <laughs> and 11 <laughs> damage to your Pekka. <laughs> uh, so the Undead share my initiative, right? Uh, yes. Down to 19. Too bad. For the yeah. fucking sake of simplicity? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because somebody animates a bunch of things. Somebody's got 19 fucking skeletons following them around. You got a Too robot nice. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. My robot bananas. Luckily, I have experience damning now, so I can run monsters go. fairly efficiently. That's, uh, what it, that's what it is. It just looks like a vape. Please put <laughs> this on like one of the tentacles. I don't care which one. Uh, so that one's yeah. going to be number one, and that one's going to be number two. Fancy. And you get new fancy stuff every week. Uh, well, I had uh, like. Running combat with the same mini sometimes is really uh, sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know you know, because you DM. You know how much that sucks sometimes. Because you're like, well, which guy did you hit? And then sometimes I've accidentally like taken hit points off the wrong guy, and I'm just like, fuck it, I don't even care. I'll tell you what's happy this weekend. I went, they finally called me back from Guard Tower. I put an order in for um, Tomb of Annihilation, the board game. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, because I'd already got the... Um, with the mer people in it. Um, Ghost Marsh? Yeah. Ooh, so yeah. I had Salt Marsh. Yeah, you gotta have the you Ghost gotta have one of the Marsh. core sets f to play Salt Marsh though. But Tomb of Annihilation is a good that one. That was it. it. And so it was either I was looking for that one or Mad Mage and I got the but we started we played one of the adventures. They're fun. And like then, real now simple. I got all those minis for it. I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, did you get the did you get the premium one or the So the um, Salt Marsh one, I got the premium for fifty percent off down in Ironton. Oh, nice! So I only paid forty dollars. They're all like pre-painted too. For pre-painted. Yeah. This one wasn't, but I still paid sixty-five. I think. There's a ton of minis still, in that box. Still, it's a lot though. of minis, and plus Jared just got a bunch of mini painting kits for. That's great. Birthdays. So. Uh, they're really good. I want to paint my kits that aren't painted, but I got two of the premium sets. I get. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, we got distracted talking about nerd stuff on a show where we play nerd games. Nerd alert! Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, so, uh, how are we doing initiative? Not 20 for 21. Uh, how did Elvin do? All right. He gets an advantage. Oh, he rolled two 18s with his dex being a plus one. So, 19. 19 for Elvin. Liz, how'd you do? A four. <laughs> four, solid. I rolled two 18s for him. And I rolled Navenna. For 18. 18. Rocky, you said 21? Yep. Okay. And Skriz? And the way it should be, the bard leading off with 23. 23. Nice. All right. I rolled a 19, I got a plus four. <laughs> I'm all good tonight. You are until, until Until attack. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so much better now that I got this working. <laughs> P.S. All the monsters are already in with the right hit points nice, and the right yeah. numbers and the right armor class. And oh my gosh, it's so nice. Anyway, uh, top of the round is gonna be Skriznitz. All right, um, 
bonus action right off the bat after seeing Rocky's thing do some damage to his little uh, flamethrower. He turns around Rocky real quick. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> and he's going to uh, make a signal towards the flamethrower to shoot again right mm -hmm. into the face of the creature. And that So it's a DC-13. DC Dex? Or, yes, Dex. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'll go ahead. Uh, I'm going to shoot a fire bolt up its ass. So it's going to get fire from both ends. Your <laughs> your I'm going to colorize their ass, little man. So I'll go to attack for... And you just said that you were rolling good. You can't say that. All right. Deck save on the uh, Odiug. Yep, number one. Yes. Number one, he got a... Odiug, number one, got a 12. 12 misses, or, you know, he takes full damage. So he will take five damage. Okay. And then I missed with my firebolt. All right. Unless a seven hits. Uh, seven does not hit. Okay. Just check it. All right. Uh, now. The next up right. is Tormund. It's always the bards. Well, we get a plus to our initiative. I guess so much for us being friends... <laughs> but like, it wasn't me. <laughs> All right, let's do. I'm in the front. Shit. <laughs> wow. Bunched up in a way I don't like. Well, shit. I think I've got. We don't know about that. It's the light. Um, you see, uh, you see him hold up one of his hands, and as he does, uh, 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 like a ball of fire starts to slowly form in the palm as it grows and expands. It starts to like wash down his hands, and uh, he launches. He's going to launch a couple rays of fire at you. More? The person that just threw a, a hammer explosion at him. Alright, so I gotta roll here. Is that all it does? Okay. Oh, that's good probably gonna miss. 14. Commissus. Second one is worse. Commissus. Uh, you sort of like hold up your uh, uh, your your uh, your sword of the Parun and, and it sort of like just reflects off the blades as they kind of like wash past your face. You're kind of reminded of a bad time in your life, but you don't take any damage. <laughs> I'm going to turn towards him and go, how'd you kill your brother? Did he die of boredom from your hits? He's going to move, uh, you know what, I'm just going to move him myself. <laughs> oh, I... shit. <laughs> he's going to move himself. So he don't fuck him over, that's what he's saying. <laughs> he's going to move over here? Damn, how much do you move? Yeah, you, you actually see his wings uh, uh, take flight and he goes over and swoops down behind some rocks and you just hear giggling. <laughs> Next up is Rocky. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use my action to resummon my hammer. And then I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Do you have any bonus action? Not really. And there's no point in moving. Uh, it's going to be it's Elvin's turn. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll laterally move. Okay. Yeah, just rotate me that way, like That's 20. Right. Um, okay. What does he do with the wing thing? Is that like a bonus action? Maybe. I'm probably gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna reset his heart rate. I'm just gonna forget heart rate for a minute. Same for you. You mean hobby? Uh, does it take like a bonus action for his wings? Or is it just a thing that happens? Oh, it's a bonus action. Bonus action? Okay, he's gonna do that. He uses it just whenever he feels like, but I usually just let him. <laughs> um, I feel like he would go for the for the, the boss guy. Sounds like Elvin. Give him 
30 feet or 60 feet? It's his normal movement speed, I'm pretty sure. Question marks on the uh, so, uh, initiative board. He said that he mm -hmm. was going to, as soon as he, there was trouble, he was going to cast uh, Shield of Shield Faith. Yeah. It's a bonus faith. action. Okay, so would that be something he would be able to get off before combat? That yeah, yeah I'd say so. You guys got a whole free so, round of doing nonsense. So, yeah, I'm going to let, let him do it. So I'll have that. Bonus um, yeah, I guess he will armor second level give him some temporary HP okay since he's able to get halfway there and then that should be all right sounds good anything else from Elvin uh, next up is Navenna Odiag. Uh, closer to me. Number one. Number one. Number one. So much nicer, right? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately paying sure. dividends. Yep. Yep. And this is the one we've been fucking up, too. Uh, ooh. Um, 18? 18 hits. Fifteen points on number one. Um, yes. All right. And um, his speed is reduced by ten feet until the start of my next turn. And that is all. Okay. Um. Next up is Odiag number one. Uh, that's the one in the middle, right? Middle. Yep, yeah, got it. He is going to um. Got the little flamethrower in his face there. The flamethrower's doing the spin. This guy goes like, <laughs> it's like this shooting flames are. <laughs> he, uh, I won't be able to actually get him that close because of the way that the caverns are, but he's actually going to move past, get up into melee with Skriz. Which one? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, you won't be able to get him that close. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's actually kind of a terrifying <laughs> image, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty picture. good. True. Yeah, you got it. That, that looks pretty scary. <laughs> Brilliant. That's like some, some, some Tim Burton shit right there. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Mm. How about a big dose of goblin kick? <laughs> yeah, all right. No, I'm digging this map. This is cool. I'm, I like this. All right. I do too. So. Um, That's all right. <laughs> I feel like it's got those like old school D and D vibes. You know, where you just wander around in a cave, and you're like, "Oh shit, it's a scary thing." We don't even know what it is. Kill it! Mm -hmm. But he wants to talk to you. Kill it anyway. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so uh, the Odiug is going to, um, as a bonus action, it is going to transmit a simple message through images into Skriznit's mind. The messages that you get, I'm going to text them to you. Oh no. That's never good. Oh no. That never is good. They remind me, they look like a version of displacer beasts. Oh, they're. Mm -hmm. 
like the deformed <laughs> version of it. Now I know very little about splinter beasts besides what they look like, but they look about the size. I know a little bit more about those, but the American Fusion thing. That was a specific shock to me that I can do that. <laughs> So as he transmits this image uh, into your mind, um, oh no! <laughs> I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I should have been saying it already. Man, you can just see Scrizz just staring down this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great picture. It's on the Imagine Discord. Scrizz right? making the face Very cool. She just made. Very cool. Very <laughs> cool. What, what kind of saving? It's, like a, it's, a, it's a wisdom save. Is he within 10 feet of me? I think... Uh, damn. Fine. 15. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> wisdom save. Oh, I don't get a plus. Woo! <gasps> 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 Isn't there 20? No, it's 20. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's good. Nat 20. Nat 20, all right. So as this image comes in your mind to try and like shake your resolve, you feel ever for just the slightest second, and then you go... Fuck these guys! Yeah, I, I feel like Scrizz gets out. He's like, ah, ah, sunk. <laughs> uh, he is not going to get advantage on the attack. So he is going to do a, um, a tentacle attack. Okay. It's a twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two to hit. I'm going to, as a reaction, cast a shield. You got it. Um, as uh, this toothed, jagged. Maul uh, comes whipping at you at the end of this tentacle. You actually feel it snap shut around you as this magical force field deflects off. You see a couple of the little spiny teeth protrude as it tries to bite and break through. It actually snaps off a couple of the teeth. Uh, the Odiag is going to try and hit you again with another tentacle attack. It's a 22 again. I can't stop this twice. Uh, the, Wait, shield, the shield, shield, shield lasts the whole round. You're, 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 you're good. Uh, feeling its frustration, it tries to just reach out and bite you with this big gaping toothy maul. 23. That is one point above it, yes. Oh, <laughs> like okay. 23 is like where I'm at. Yeah, I rolled a uh, natural 16, yeah, natural 16, and a 17. That's pretty good rolls. Uh, yeah. So with the bite so attack, good. it's going to do... Uh, and I did say I had my shield on, so... It's 17 points of piercing damage, and you need to make a constitution saving throw. You said 17? Yep. Yeah. And constitution. What? 12. Wait. Hold on, I just want to double check something real quick. Okay, 12. Uh, so you fail. Nice. You are... Poisoned. You're actually inflicted with a disease, but it causes the poison condition. Hmm. So, uh, in a question that might come up in the future, if I'm immune to disease, would it affect me? No, it wouldn't. Cool. Good to know. Um, every 24 hours that elapse, you have to continue to repeat the saving throw. If uh, you fail, you have to reduce your maximum hit points by five on a Ooh. failure. Until this disease is cured, you say every tw every day. Um, uh, you got the Elven. You got the Elven. Obviously, the, the target will die if the disease reduces its maximum hit points to zero. The reduction of the target's hit point maximum lasts oh, until the, the disease is cured. So, so this uh, you actually feel yourself getting tetanus as this thing like bites <laughs> into you. Your joints start seizing up. You're like, ah! You're nasty. Give me stuff like that. All right, that is going to be the Odiog's turn. Yeah, let's not. That's a pretty cool picture, too. Oh, man, I'm loving this. All the stuff on this app oh, now. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, yeah. Also, it's like an alligator in that one. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the way I'm looking for the trees. Okay, so uh, next up is going to be the surprise mystery creature, um, which none of you actually could see because you rolled so poor on your stealth and didn't hear them moving around. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna put this on the 11. Yeah. This is one. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, oh, Rocky. Okay. 
<laughs> behind you. It takes an axe. So uh, this thing sort of like what crawls out of the, the like rocks roll each day below you. Uh, uh, these little like taloned it's feet it's sort of come skittering out and go immediately after Rocky. Say it was each day or each round that every I 24 hours. Every 24 oh, so hours. I think if you failed by five or more, yeah, it's worry about it. it does not get in full melee, it moves up to 10 feet with him. Uh, and it's going to attempt to, brain? yeah, okay. uh, it's going to attempt to devour your intellect. Um, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw, Rocky. Since I'm a goblin, any resistance to poisoners? No, I do because I'm undead. Oh wait, maybe defenses. That's gonna be an eight. It would be, it would be. <laughs> Unless I can carry over my inspiration from last time. No. Un- unfortunately, no. Um, no. You are going to take. Well, you end up only taking four points of psychic damage. Yay! Yeah, at least the characters have fought these before, so we're not oblivious to what happens. I'm pretty sure this thing, like, made Elvin dumb. What is your uh, in, in intelligence presently? I have you at a, just making sure I have the right number, a 10. A 10 is correct. Okay. So, let's see. On a fail, if the roll equals or exceeds your intelligence, your score is zero. Uh-huh. I rolled an eight. Oh. That so was rough. so you're, nice you're good. It's going to now move up into melee range with you, and it's going to make a claw attack. It's about to get fucking punted. <laughs> uh, yeah, it rolled a nine. <laughs> uh, that's going to be his turn. Uh, Liz is up. Do we remember these things being squishy or pretty hardy? Um, these little brains. Like once you got to them and were fighting them, they weren't that bad, but they were dangerous even though they were not. They were not very. Uh, they they did not have like a ton of HP or anything. All right. They seem pretty easy to hit. Bonus action. Um, I'm gonna order my skeletons attack this guy. Okay. So they'll do that after my turn. Um, So we both have plus two because right? <laughs> that's worth thirty. Hey, 30. that's 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 uh, smart. What is it? Well, he's gonna move up. He's gonna move next up. round I'm too. Just, I'm just trying to calculate how much. So he can move. It, assuming he stays the same place though. Yeah, I'll move up to here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Actually. Action, since it can't get within five feet of me, is Use the probably. I see my phone is actually like too. The advantage one's probably going to be more helpful with the probably another intellect component. Or I guess all magic missile. Magic missile. Okay. Uh, Maybe. What's the slow save con? <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. Um, yeah. got shield. Yeah, it's got a high um, For the how, thirteen the, the damage, force damage. Length. Thirteen force damage. Or, or On um. Uh, uh, Tormund. Okay. Spell. And hopefully that drags the tension over to me. And be like, what happened? All right, uh, so you fire a volley of arcane darts as they slam around the corner, and uh, you actually see them, like, as they burst, they, like, cause these, like, almost like fireworks on the other side as it lights up the cavern behind you. Uh, anything else from you, Liz? Uh, that's it from me. I'm going to move this guy in a little bit. Uh, the skeletons are going to shoot. Shooter! Uh, 
16? 14, 15, 16. On who? Uh, the, the number snake. one. No, no, I number one? O Odiug? Odiug. Uh, 14, what'd you say? 14? 14, 15, 16. All hit. All hit, okay. I'm assuming an eight doesn't hit? No. Yeah, you awesome. sunk my battle ship. Okay. <clears throat> my proficiency bonus didn't change. So. Uh, well, they add up. There's like twenty-four damage. Four of them on who? Uh, the one. N which the, number? Number one. Number one. You got it. Because they get my. Because I'm a necromancer, they get my proficiency bonus. It's added to the damage, so that's pretty nice. Nice. All right. Uh, that's. They're just gonna move a little bit, but yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um, surprise visitor number two. <laughs> see another one of these sort of legged creature things kind of <laughs> come out here. I don't know if it is. Uh, I put the 12 on that one, so it's mm -hmm. going to be number two. Put him within melee range as this thing sort of like comes out of uh, some of the loose rocks. Right. Yep. Uh, you hear uh, Tormund in the back. Ah, my pretties, yes! Feast! Bring their hollowed out shell of a brains back to me. I want their skulls emptied. No, that like My other much. pretties, don't maim them too badly. Uh, it's going to make a claw attack at Elvin. Skull fuck Torment. <laughs> you should. Not great. Uh, a tw 20. Nope, that's the wrong creature. <laughs> Not great. 20. Well, it, it's still a 20. I thought it was more, though. It's a 20 to hit Elvin. Okay. Uh, it's now then going to do a devour intellect. So he needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Not his strong point. <laughs> a minus one. Come on, man. He got an eight. Oh no. It's gonna happen again. An eight. That is a fail. <laughs> He, oh, crap. He takes 15 points of psychic damage? Uh, oh, is this thing... Yeah. It takes... Did it get disadvantaged because Alvin's cloak? Not from Devour Intellect. Oh, okay. Devour. Oh. It takes 10 cold damage from his armor. Ooh. Because it's within five feet of him. Does that only work on attacks or any damage? I'm pretty sure it's any damage as long as the creature's within five feet, but I'll double check. Uh, you play his, his character better. Aha! So, no. Damn. But still, you play his character better. Oh, no. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, so you said how much damage? 15? It's 15 psychic. Oh, okay. he's, he's dumb, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Um, so if you I have Elvin's it. intellect at a 9. Yep. I, I, I rolled a 10. <sighs> so he's down on the ground. It says, on a failure, if the roll equals or exceeds their current intelligence score... That score is now reduced to zero. That target is stunned until it regains at least one point of intelligence. So how would can, he get intelligence back? Yeah, can I make like a... Like a long rest? Oh. Uh, restoration, like probably greater? Yeah. Does it... Greater. Greater is I don't have three days. <sighs> For a CR2 monster, these hey, things these are, are so brutal. brutal. They're brutal. I did in one session, and Jared's buddy Mason's like, it was that close, was, and he was like, "No, don't eat my brain." <laughs> well, I didn't eat his brain. I just, just like stunned him. Yes, but still, I'm gonna yeah. try to eat his brain next, next turn. turn. <laughs> well, that's how close it was. He got stunned, but then I was just like, "Is this considered a disease or a poison?" No. No. He's like, I'm pretty sure it's like greater restoration or some other way to increase his intelligence. A long rest. I think every time that he comes out of one of these, it, his intelligence should go down one. <laughs> that should be a okay. Uh, that's that's the intellect of hours yeah, turn. He can't do anything zero, else. Zero um, So go. didn't this happen the last time he left? <laughs> yes. He yes. left. He came back. He's like, "What happened? Oh, I'm down on the ground. Great." Mongo, 
You just see saliva coming out of the corner of my Next ears. is the uh, the second Odiug. Uh, it's going to hop down the rocks and it's going to go towards Rocky. And uh, it's going to use a tentacle attack on Rocky. Yeah, I think concentration is Oh, poo poo. Poo 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 poo. It's, too dumb to spell yeah. out. Uh, it's 16 to hit. What's the spell? Uh, it's going to try again with a tentacle attack. Say 21 to hit. Misses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. Thank you, Flappy. Flappy. And uh, let's see. It's going to try to bite you. Nope. That's going to be its turn. You movie Goldeneye where he's like, I am invincible. <laughs> All right, Skriznit, you're up. Skriznit is up. All right, so we're going to start off with the bonus action. And the flamethrower is going to shoot towards the back of the uh, oogie. Oogie okay. boogie. Flamethrower, so dex save? Yeah, dex. Oh, yeah, no. That's a seven. All right. This is about he the only thing that's over. doing any, any damage. He's not on the ground. Like, he's still... Ah, he's nice. Still 12 he's damage. Oh, okay. I thought he fell on the ground. Oh, you're going to do that. Could you not come Did down, you hear like, me? five I'm minutes sorry. earlier? How much? 12? 12 damage. Yeah. So, you know how intellect like, devourers devour your intellect? Uh, which one? Huh? One or two? Number one. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I'm always fucking dead when I come back. You're not dead. <laughs> you're not dead. You're just, you're just at zero intelligence now. And so... I'm on this phone. <laughs> so, Skriz is behind his... After the flame just hits off on this, Skriz is behind his uh, shield and the shield of many expressions. And you just see, like, the eyes roll back into it and come back out, and they have, like, little flames in them. And it just, like, has this, like, demonic smile. And Skrizz shoots Firebolt from behind the shield at it. Okay, I like it. Love the flavor. How'd you do? Just move on. I quit. <laughs> Fucking eight. Uh, all right, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be Tormund's turn. Um, Tormund is going to fly towards Elvin. How many feet is that? All right, and then he's going to use his action to attempt to pick Elvin up. Oh, yeah. That's a 22, very easily. And then he's going to uh, giggle. <laughs> One more for the fire. And he's going to fly through that open chamber and leave with Elvin. After he teabagged him. All right. Like, I guess I'll leave the gone? table. <laughs> <laughs> like, can't he's it. gone, I, gone? I can't well, he's it. not dead. He's just gone. No, no. He's gone. Like, we can't, can't see him. We we oh, you just hear him. Can you, we see him? Yeah, you can still see him through the through the chamber. How much? Yeah. How, I guess how, how far did he go? He, he flew the maximum of his movement, which is 60 feet. So he moved 15 feet up there, and then he's moving that way. Okay, so that that's where he's at. You see him? He's got Elvin kind of like draped over his shoulder, and he's he's flying. He's not high. He's just kind of like barely off the ground. Oh, I'm high. <laughs> uh, that, that's his turn. He does nothing else. He's just laughing. You hear the echoes chambers of him just going, uh, here's, here's <laughs> So you're at 82 HP. Well, that's good. Yeah, you know. haven't taken a lot of damage. You have show faith, but you're, but you're I'm losing faith. I'm losing anymore. faith. <laughs> Rocky, you're up. And use the first and second level. All right. And I still am a dumbass. Gotcha. So this is what's going to happen. Give it to a straight dog. Rocky is going to see all of that happen and also previously see where uh, Bucko ran away from from me. Uh, so he's going to yell out, uh, where do you think you're going, chicken shit? <laughs> and um, he's going to snap his fingers and misty step 30 feet this way. And then close the distance. No, Rocky, don't. Oh, no. All right. Uh, he's not flying. He's just kind of hovering. Yeah. As, as you kind of like approach, you see like this fear in his eyes. Like <laughs> he has that. I just shit in my pants. Look yeah. on his on his face. Minotaur just charged at him. You just realize you fucked up. And then with a tuning great weapon master, I swing. <laughs> there you go. I love it. Hopefully, I don't roll a one. Hey. Nice. It's a two. So 17 plus 11. 17 Holy plus shit. things. So that is a 28 minus 5. 
for my great weapon master, 23. Okay. Does that hit? It does. <laughs> and I'm going to put a good old third level divine oh spike my this bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> P.S. He's a fiend. <laughs> I was waiting for this moment. Boy, is today Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This sure feels like my birthday. I'm going to need some dates. <laughs> this also feels like my birthday. So this How is level one. I was unconscious getting carried no, away. No, this is just baseline. That is... That's just the base. That Wait till they get the shaft. <laughs> and then level one. Level two. Uh, I got to lay off the level three. The happy The water. The water. Fiend. The emergency water. My, the emergency water. The butthurt bur- <laughs> booze. <laughs> yeah. Magic Johnson. Uh, not Magic Johnson. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is the hip water. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Oh, God, I said that on my... <laughs> on a t-shirt. So. Already. So I like you rolled enough dice. Yeah, I know. Uh, 16, 24, 34, 28. You're fucking me up here. 24. <laughs> Elvin's right there. Thank you, Aki. <laughs> Thank you for naming me. 41, 47, 7 is 54 plus 10, 64. That's a lot. For you, my said, you said 64, right? 64. Right. And for my next... He round, said for my next <laughs> magical trick. I, I do 5 damage, that's it. Yeah, yeah. what did I say? 5 damage. <laughs> uh, great weapon master again. You got it. Four. Ooh. And it's sad. Very sad. It'd be a negative four. Wow. Oh, no. Uh, and then that's my movement, my bonus action, and my action. Uh, I'm going to say with that swing, he's going to have to make a strength check to see if he's able to keep Elvin, because you did over half of his hit points in one fucking hit. Oh, pff, no, he drops Elvin on the ground. Thank you, Rocky. So could, <laughs> could I, um, how much movement did I use to close? 20. 20, so I still got 10. Mm-hmm. All right, so I would like to rotate 10 more. Okay. This way to just kind of get in between him and Elvin. Okay. You're kind of like standing over top of Elvin's body. Mm-hmm. Like if I take kind of stra- shit. Kind of straddling. Yeah. Like dick and balls just yep. hanging above yep. me. I'm just up there. All, are you all yeah. done, Rocky? Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah, you, like Dude, you meow. smashed that guy. That was, that was dope. <laughs> what a turn. I got to go get more D8s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just go to the store back. <laughs> uh, Elvin, I need you to roll a charisma saving throw. No. You get plus two because you're within 10 feet. Yeah. Nice. 20 plus before modifiers, my good. Um, so you failed, but... No, fa- no, 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 20 before modifiers. I know. You, you failed. I'm What's your modifier? Maybe there's a warlock. I think he gets proficiencies as long as the warlock is the first one. I think he yep. throws charisma saving throw? Yep. Plus seven. Oh, okay, you're good. Oh, 27. This is actually an even better. You're going to like this. Um, even better. So, um, Elvin, you are currently unconscious, right? You're Well, not really. You are stunned. However, you're, something seems to take over your body. Your black wings, which are normally ethereal, become feathered physical manifestations of Lila. It's showtime. <laughs> Lila is now steering the ship. Uh, you, as uh, Rocky, as you see him, kind of like, sort of like, laying there on the ground. He's sort of like levitating ever so slightly, just from the pure ethereal energy coming from Lila. Uh, you see his eyes turn pure white as these like radiant bits of holy astral energy come pouring out of them. You see like these long flowing uh, beads of uh, like dark shadowy energy coming off the wings as he sort of rises up like the Undertaker back up to his feet. <laughs> Man, you do the coolest shit after you die. <laughs> Your stats currently are the same, but you're being controlled by Lila. Rocky's like, did you shit yourself? <laughs> it's your turn. Um, so the only thing that's the same is your intelligence is zero because you're not in your body. Okay. So it's 
one lower than usual. You're kind of like yeah. watching all this happen from the outside, like almost like you're having a dream. How did he get on that? What the <laughs> fuck? Right. So, I guess Lila will take a back shot towards the deck. Uh, 17. 17 hits. Oh, wait, hold on. 17 does not hit. Second swing? Mm -hmm. uh, 20? Yeah, 20 will hit. Fifteen damage. Yep. And um, you'll kind of see the eyes uh, flicker in and out, and I'll pump a channel divinity into oh, nice. as well nice. for another seventeen. Damage. Another seventeen. So thirty-two total. And um, finish him off. Okay. Well, I didn't finish him. That was Delilah. It's still, understand. it's still your powers. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, again, just. Kind of see a Lila take over the body. Um, just the swings just don't look right. They have more energy inside of them. They hit. And, yeah, they hit. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Busting chops today. And yeah, I mean, like, just the, even the slashes leave like little glimpse of light where blood should be pouring out. It's just kind of the light of heaven, I guess, if you want to call it that, just kind of flowing down. Okay. Um, Elvin, in your head, you hear, but it actually comes out of you, out of your mouth. You hear it as though it's coming from your own mind, but Rocky, you actually hear him speak it. And you hear, have you ever met Lila? Uh, that, I'd say I, that's I don't think call. you have. I think no, nobody has. I, I try to call her down. I think you guys don't actually believe that she exists. Because <laughs> none of you guys have also met her. Also a valid point. <laughs> you guys have never seen her. You guys have never really met her. Uh, you hear the voice of something else that's not Elvin. You've never heard it before say, He is my throne. No one else will have him but me. Excuse me, you're really getting in the way here of a, a battle. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at Tormund too as he's dying. You ain't no Daisy, bitch. <laughs> so, uh, Elvin, uh, as the consciousness begins to sort of fade out and this dreamlike state fades away, your intelligence is now restored to nine. <coughs> The damage you had is all the same, but now you are now back inside the boat. And all you hear is Lila saying, take better care of my vessel. <coughs> she says, We're going take straight to Mickey D's after <laughs> He's like, I'm taking this bitch to get some chicken get the nuggets. Feet and... <laughs> Nivena, <laughs> you're up. Wait, before she goes. I just brought you back from unconscious stupor. Um, <laughs> you were about to have your brain replaced. <clears throat> Head explode and a brain come out. Who? Yeah, I was curious. Nope. Yeah, I speak giant. No, he did not. He. Uh, I know you were probably expecting an intellect of hour to come out of that, and it did not. I was. Lila. I feel like Liz was like looking and hoping. Lila's an intellect of hour. Shocker. I don't think it does really explain. So I am super torn on which spell I'm gonna use because there's two that I could use that are super useful, and I don't know what one. I can take it. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Okay, I'm going to. Your character cast didn't die. Slow. Rocky just, just saved down. saved your ass, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He slow. Yeah. The hill. Okay. Slow. This is a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Of, let me double check, but I think. It's and who are we hitting? Both creatures. Everything. Uh, yeah, it's a 40 everything. by 40 square. You got it. Slow. Let's slow. do the Odiog first. You said wisdom, right? Wisdom 16. So I got a 19 on the first one. Intellect Devourer. Ooh, that's a 2. Go pee Fail. for me, Rocky. Intellect Devourer. <laughs> that's a 14. Fail. And the last Odiog. That is a 14. Fail. So the only one that passed was Odiog 1. Oh my gosh, loving those number tiles. So nice. I am also slow. No, oh, you're you're good enough. Mentally slow. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, how is there not a slow on there? She did uh she did angel uh, stuff on you. Brought you back to life. So this is magical. Are you okay, bro? Just joking on nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Wednesday, huh? That's concentration. Yes, that's concentration. I'm concentrating on the uh, all but one, correct? 
correct? Failed. Uh, Odiag one failed. Fail. Right, he was the only one that passed. I mean, or, uh, yeah, this little I creature feel. causes that much havoc. It's a oh, yeah. CR two. Yeah, those things need to die. Okay, so um, they're terrifying. Just for reference, um, all of those have a negative two to AC and dexterity saving throws. Yeah, they do. They can't use reactions. Yeah, they can't. They can only (laughs) use an action or bonus action, but not both. That's great. (laughs) <laughs> Regardless of the creature's abilities or magic items, it can't make more than one melee or ranged attack during its turn. Sure can't. That one's excellent. Put some concentration on her. <laughs> I got it. it. All right, is that it? And That's your action. If the creature attempts to cast a spell, um, I'll do that, but I don't think any of these guys yeah, are casting spells. Them, well, the guy that was casting spells is laying on the ground, <laughs> fucking split open from Rocky and Elvin, just, just, just kicking the shit out of him. Good. I yeah. was gonna go over and vortex warp him out of there. I was I, I was trying to steal him. I know. Did you guys see me not I trying to win? Let that happen. That's how <laughs> good you guys are getting. It's really hard for me to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No, I'm done. All right. Uh, Odiag number one. He is going to take a tentacle attack at uh, Skriznit. He only gets one attack. That's a terrible attack. Um, he is going to attempt to make his wisdom save. Okay, that's a stupid riddle. Not the stuff, but I feel like it's just I failed. Oh, wait, he... No, he is not affected by slow. No. He's going to get his second he's tentacle not. attack. Yeah, he's not. That is a... An 18 to hit, Skriz. Meets. You got it. You got it. You got it. Do you think he would cast shield? I think that that's a decent amount of damage. He's going to cast shield. He's already poisoned. All right. Unless that's him. No, that's fucked up. No. Okay. Yeah, he's going to cast shield. That'll be fucking right. Oh, hi, though. Um, all right, so he's going to cast shield. All right, the sec- uh, the third and final attack is a bite. It's a uh, it's a twenty one to hit. Okay, uh, that's going to be his turn. As this as this thing is just frustrated, not being able to bite into. He's tried several times to try and just destroy Skriz, and he just can't. Uh, it's going to be the intellect devourer number one's turn. Um, it's going to move over to Skriz. These things are so tiny. Yeah, I hear him coming. We'll have him. It's going to do the claw attack first. Oh, never mind. It it, it only gets one. It says multi-attack makes... It's going to choose to devour an elect. What? No, it should use his claw. It's going to seduce him. Hey, how how would you like to make your intelligent saving throw? It should be pretty good. He's an artificer. I know, yeah. Intelligent. What is it? Intellect devouring. Well, Rocky well, left you there. <laughs> I mean, he went to go help Elvin. It's not like he just left. <laughs> so what do I got to do? Uh, in, it's going to be an intelligent guys. saving throw. I'll go get yeah. That is not one of my strong suits. <laughs> We're getting new dice. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Uh, let's try the purples. Purple Nurple! 17. That's a, that's a success. Okay. Uh, it can't do anything else because it's got slow on it. Uh, it's going to attempt to make its wisdom save. That is a 16. I am going to silvery barb that. Nice. Okay. Actually, hold on. What am I going to do? No, I'm going to use a luck. A luck point? Yeah. So you want me to reroll? Yes, please. What, what 14. You, you feel wait, like, wait, hold on. I don't think I can use luck on that, can I? Oh, I think you can only do it against... Okay, I'm just going to say it's, I think a it's a silvery against barb against because it's, a bit against, it's the sure. same thing. So I rolled a 14. So that fails. Mm-hmm. Who, you okay. to? Who are you giving advantage to? Um, we will give it to... Yeah. Let's give it to Skriz. Skriz has advantage on his next attack or God. saving throw. Yep. The we very next this. one. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. Anything else from you? Oh, that was my turn. Liz, you're up. We're here on the initiative order, if you guys are wondering. We're right here. Nice. You're Liska? Yep. Oh Liska. God. I'm what going to <laughs> bonus action to my skeletons to attack the brains now, because those are scary. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to attack this guy. How hurt does he look? Um, He's got some wounds. Okay. He still looks pretty stout, though. On 
on a guiding well, boat. 29. Beep, 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 that was third beep, level. The You're hitting the Odiog? Mm. Alright. No, the number, number one. one. You got it. Oh. Got a crit. Oh god. That's nice. Sixes. There you go. We gotta have the button. Can't not have the button. Okay, I'm so push my fucking buttons. But. That was Tormund. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's exactly what he sounded like. <laughs> Forty-five radiant Ooh. damage. Shit. Holy shit. Um, Forty-five, and next attack shit, roll against him gets advantage. Okay, next so attack roll has advantage. Uh, and the skeleton uh, slayer is going to shoot two, two, on two on this guy and two on so two on the first in line mower and two on the other one. Okay, so two on one and two on two. You got it. Okay. So well, one of them crit. This is going to be for number one or two. His words are number one. So, uh, <laughs> 24 and then a 21. Were you not down here when I described it? And then he goes, for the you other know when one, you flop uh, it open. <laughs> an 11 and a 21. The 11 misses, the 21 hits. Okay. Uh, so we'll do that one first. Swap it out. 22 damage on this guy. On number one. Number one takes 22. Okay. Seven damage on number two. Seven on number two. Um, I'm gonna have a flopper. Are any of those attacks magical? They are all non magical. Got it. They do not count. Okay. So you said 21? Uh, 21 on the first one, and then seven on the next one. Okay. I messed up. So 21, half of that is 10. Okay. Uh, anything That's else it. from, from I, you and in the, in, in the army of the undead? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, next up is going to be the intellect of hour number two, which is the one over it's there. One. It's going to move towards Liz. Okay. Oh, so it's, it's number 12. So it's, so That's two. It's slowed. Uh, what's its movement? It's got half movement. Uh, it moves 30 feet. So I'm sorry, 40 10. feet. Okay. So does it get... It gets so it gets ten. It gets ten, to move twenty within, within ten feet or five feet. Ten feet of uh, devour okay. intellect. So it's for there. That's all the further it can move, right? It can move. Five it can move more. five more if it wants to. Uh, it wants to move melee if it can. Okay. It's going to attempt to uh, try to devour intellect at a wizard. This is funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think it literally. <laughs> Something has in your mold. brain is like it seems really good. It really wants to eat your brain. It's tickly. Uh, intelligence saving throw. Good luck. Thirteen. You barely passed. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Our <laughs> wizard would have went down. Okay, well, to be fair, I'm pretty sure it has a like the max number to, to take my intelligence. It's possible, but uh, yeah, I rolled a five. All right, it cannot make a multi attack. It's done with its turn. Uh, Odiag number two uh, is looking for some dinner. It's not really sure where the dinner went. <laughs> yeah. Seems very confused. Uh, it is going to move, uh, its full movement is 30 feet, but it is currently slowed. Oh, I'm going to save on the intellect of hour. That's a fail. Um, it's going to move towards Skriz as close as he can get up to, he can only move 15 feet if he's slowed. He's going to dash and move his full 30 to get up to Skriz. I think he can actually get to Skriz at 15, 5, 10. Yeah, he can. But it's just like it's really weird. He can't fit in that. He can't fit in that little gap. Okay, so he'd he have to get up on top of the rocks and then over. So he no. Get like here with his dash. Yeah, he's gonna dash okay. and go that far. Yeah, that's gonna be his turn. But though. at least he had the dash to get there. And he's gonna you uh, try to save. He failed. It's a thirteen. Next up is gonna be we're back at the top of the round with Skriznit. I think Skriz is like, what the fuck? Yeah, you got these two fucking idiots. <laughs> How do I get all you guys around? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's looking bad they for our friend that. Skriz. That one. You also have advantage in your next D20. Yeah, so, and he'll, well, it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to bonus action, do the flamethrower action nice. from Floppy. Flop, we're going to call him Flopper. Flopper. He just flopped on down to the ground. <laughs> Look at dead fish. <laughs> Maybe he flopped around. 
Oh, Till his yeah. legs came loose. I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, so that'd be a dex saving throw of 23. 23? Yeah. I just want to see if he's paying attention. Nope. 13. Okay. I still fell. I got, okay. <laughs> I got a five. Okay. Damn phone. And you take nine damage. Nine damage. Nine uh, is fire, right? Yes. On Odiag, one or two? Uh, one. One? Nine. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to be like, fuck this. And I'm going to kind of like jump over the little um, intellect devourer. Before I do, though, I'm just going to be like, and I'm like, you want to devour something? Devour this! And I stick my finger like right towards the front of the brain and I cast, well, we all know what we're, I'm casting. Yep. I'm casting Shocking Grass. You're getting, no, I'm going to be like, you're getting the shocker now, baby! <laughs> Jam. We have visual representation. And I'm like, uh. yeah! <laughs> hey, wow. advantage, too. And uh, we're going to go ahead and roll that because that was a 19 on the first roll. Even better. And 25 on the second. Yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Looks like Scrizz is having a bad day over here. <laughs> Fuck, I haven't been able to hit anything. The be 14 damage. 14 nice. damages. Yes. Stupid brain go away. 14. So it's, then he uh, get... and he can't take a reaction. Yeah, so I don't I'm think he can anymore anyway. I'm going to shocker slow, him, slow. Yeah. and then I'm just going to jump over on, him. Was that number one or two? One. <laughs> it okay. was in the number two hole, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's, that's, that's done. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he's going to jump over him, shocker him, jump over him. So he's going to Yes, over and move him. away from me. You're moving away from the Odiug? This one can take its reactions. Oh, can yeah. he? Number yeah. one can, but not number two. If that's still what you're Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. It's weird. Mm-hmm. That it's not only. Uh, it, uh, yeah, because okay. he can't fit there. He is actually like right next to him. I'm gonna take the chance. The, he All only right. gets one swing at me, right? Mm-hmm. Or does he get three? Reaction. He gets one. Only one. Just one. Uh, He's I'm going a, to I'm shoot past him. Yeah. He has. But, a, he, he has I'll a, take one hitting. He has advantage because you're poisoned. Yes, I'm going to. Yeah. So, I rolled really bad. <laughs> you're good. Okay, so I'm gonna continue my 30 feet. So. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> Gosh, nice. Alright. Uh, anything else from you, Scrizz? No, I'm good right now. That little, that little like, cannon of yours has been doing some work this fight. I'm like, I'm over there like, ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> uh, next up is going to be Rocky. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to be like, Rocky, you're going to smell my finger. <laughs> um, I'm okay. I learned a long time ago to say no. Just say no to Scrizz's finger. Yep. All right, I'm gonna close with uh, the intellect devourer, yep. and I'm gonna swing at his ass with great weapon master. Okay. Well, that yeah. is a 21 minus 5, 16 to hit. Plus numbers, right? I rolled a 10 plus. 11 Got it. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a hit. Five. Okay. Yeah. Two of these. So why is it subtract? So with Great Weapon Master, mm-hmm. I take minus five from my roll. If I still hit, I get plus ten plus damage. 10 damage. Oh. Really good. And okay. if I merc someone, I can use my bonus action to make attack. another melee yep. attack. Mm. Or, or, if, it, or if, if I crit. crit yeah. 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 Which yeah, is good because you get 19's crits now with the hammer. I do? I, don't, I thought so. That's the hammer. other hammer. The other hammer? His yeah. hammer. Oh, I thought. No, no I, think his hammer does. I don't think so. Oh, never mind. I lied. I think he wanted it to, but <laughs> <laughs> he wants it. To. I think he said something about hey, can it crit on 19? So I, I don't think I said uh, yeah. So that's 18 damage. Let me just pick on uh, intellect devourer like number five, which one? Two. Number two. Uh, you cleave this thing clean in half. Oh wait, no, that's number two. I lied. 18. Got it. See, the numbers are working. Numbers are working, and uh, I'm gonna rear up and swing again, same fashion. Okay. Oh man, I keep, that's the second natty one. <laughs> uh, can't bring them out and not use them all. Ebbs That's and right. Flows. Um, and then this guy can't take reactions either. That's the only thing. That's can. the only one that can. Okay, he's slow. 
<laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to move another 10. Just 5, 10 to kind of give that thing some options that are wizards. Okay, okay. <laughs> that are wizards. And then yeah. I'll... All right, uh, Elvin. Now back in control of your body, you're up. So, um, how far am I away from the guy that's in the center? The big guy. 15, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Yeah, about thirty feet. So standing in the corridor, um, feeling like my new self. Um, you actually feel like really empowered. You feel you yeah. feel good. Uh, so kind of feeling this new energy, and you know, I saw it in a play once. <laughs> I'll just hold my hand out and say some magical words <laughs> that doesn't even sound like anything you guys have heard because you guys don't speak giant. Um, <laughs> What's he saying? And um, you'll see this black necrotic energy and the sound of like screaming, like, like basically screaming bloody murder. And I'm going to cast Blight at 4th level oh, on that guy. Blight. Blight. Yeah. Nice. Uh, on the Odiog, right? Yeah, it's a, number one. Is it an undead? It is not. Or a construct? It is not. Okay, it's not cool. either of those things. It is considered an aberration. <laughs> cool. Is it a plant? <laughs> it, it is not. Uh, <laughs> so, is damage. it a save or? Con save. Con save. Con save. It's such a good, it does so much damage. I rolled an 8. Ooh. So you fail. I have a plus four on con, too. That's the worst part about it. That's why it. I shook up all these dice over here. Um, oh, yeah. So it is 16, 21, 28, 32, 42, 48. Necrotic. That's so good. And it ignores resistances. So uh, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have resistance to that. <laughs> Uh, so you actually drain the entire moisture out of this creature with blight, yeah. and you see it sort of like shrivel up as the spell is taking hold on it, and you're drawing out the, the basically like the life essence. It starts to shrivel and decay and dry and rot like a like a like an old piece of fruit that's being left out <laughs> in the sun. This thing's dead. Yeah. Nice work. So, um. And then I forget sometimes you actually have spells because you never cast any spells. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I will kind of, I'll creep into the room, but kind of standing on the back side of that platform. Okay. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Just over here. Yeah. Just kind of like tuck. Yeah. Um, pass. All right. Navena, you're up. Yeah, you can. I, yeah, I, 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 I can tell. Hit these two. You'd have, to, you'd, have, you'd have to kind of like angle it up a little bit, but it would probably slam into the rocks. It wouldn't even probably go the full distance. Either that or swing around and hit both intellectual powers. Mm. But I'm not sure if I'd clip Rocky. You would probably clip Rocky to do it that way if you're trying to hit the Odiug too. No, not just, just the yeah, two. He's tech, yeah, he's tangling here. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. should be able to do that. Yeah, you'd be able to. Yeah, because those things need to go. Fair enough. Minus two, their deck saves too. Yep. Fourth, right? mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna deck save on. Or is it disadvantage? I don't remember which. It's negative two. Yeah, that's a that's a six on the f one in front of you, and that is a minus two. It's a twelve. Both fail. Nice. I'm trying to decide which level to pass this at. Ninth level. <laughs> <laughs> Ninth level. Ninth level. Ninth level. Ninth level. Elvin says ninth level. Uh, Everything's ninth level. I can take it. I can take I it. Can, I'll take it. Hey, I'm not going to hit him this time. Yes. No. You could. <laughs> you could angle it that way. Can you someone could just else could, sit in my shoes and actually take it? No. Hey, I, I could have hit anyone. Uh, he could um, take it. You have to hold it in a moment. Trust me. Let's just do fourth level. Rock, Rocky I, could take it. I, want, yeah, I could take it. Well, is that, no, is that I'll do third. Sorry. Sorry. Keep changing my mind. Third level. Third level. Okay. Um... 8d6. 8d6. 
You mean like so and so that just did sixty one damage to a dragon on a crit hit with her with her rogue last time we played? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Six sixty one. Thirty two points of lightning damage. Well that was overkill. They don't have that much HP. That's why I went with the third level. God, you Sith Lord. Uh, so she goes Emperor Palpatine on these guys. She just says, Unlimited power and you see a bolt of lightning just streak down as it crackles and sparks off of the rocks since it's not conduent, bounces off and around the little angled edges and clips into each one of them, just completely frying them. Rocky's hair sticks up a little bit because he's a little <laughs> too close to this thing. <laughs> Sorry, Rocky. And I'm done. All right, uh, that guy is toast. Liz, you're up. Cool. Um, well, since those tarps are dead, skeleton shoot that thing, um, and I'll cantrip it with something. Which cantrip? Let's do firebolt. I will like it. For a 29. Gosh, I hope that hits. <laughs> If I throw anything at you guys with an AC <laughs> that high in like a random encounter, <laughs> you guys should not let me DM for you guys just anymore. I could fucking run. That's like higher than a Jurassic. Yeah. It could be a homebrewed monster or a monster that has a good spell on it, like a uh, magic shield or something. 13 fire damage. 13 fire damage on the Odiug, right? Correct. Odiug, 13 fire damage. Let's you got it. This. And. Two twenty twos from the skeleton. Oh yeah, they hit. Uh, and then eighteen non-magical piercing from the skeleton to Eris. All right, eighteen points of piercing damage. You got it. Um, I'll Please Anything else? All right. Uh, that intellect devourer is dead. So that brings up the Odiug. Uh, the Odiug is going to. Uh, benchy, 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 benchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna try to hit Rocky. <laughs> benchy. He can bust. Okay, at least it's slow, so it'll only take one attack. Yeah. <laughs> benchy. It fails miserably oh, in its attempt to attack. It's totally going to try and uh, wisdom attack. save again. You're rolling that one. Come on, dice. I get like two good rolls, and then I'm. It's been just terrible all night. It's bad. Yep. I feel like every good roll I have, then I roll the one tonight. Yep. Uh, Scrizz, back to you. So all we got left is Mr. Otug. Otug Otug. So these, you guys are like a little high for these monsters, but I tell you what, at like a like a low level. I don't know what level you're playing with in your team, Jess. Like how how what level are they? They are, they just got to level seven, I think. So this is a CR five monster. It's terrifying. Mm -hmm. You should you should throw one at him. It's nice. Yeah. These would be rough. Level seven. Uh, not with a full party. I would like to. I mean, okay. you're not gonna dust it, but. Yeah. Yeah. He's the last creature, right? Yeah, he's the only one. Well, the cannon can move 15 feet, but it shoots in a 15-foot cone, so I don't want to shoot yeah, and hit Rocky true. and all that. So I think he's going to move up just to be within range if need be, but I don't think with all the firepower. Sometimes the cameraman's He's just going to sit there, and I think... They know Scriz, the risks of the job. Scrizz is just going to take off running towards it. And he's going to come. You know what? Is the mouth wide open? <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. Is the mouth wide open? Oh. <laughs> Scrizz is going to yeah, run. Yeah, it's sort of like this snapping, <laughs> gaping maw. Scrizz is going to run towards the mouth, and he's going to cannonball <laughs> into his mouth. Oh, my God. And sh cast shocking grasp when he goes into the okay, mouth. Okay, okay. 
Let's hope this doesn't backfire. Are you fucking Sonic? I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna actually give you advantage because you're trying to get inside of the creature. <laughs> yes. So advantage on these shocking shocking grass. For that one, well, I was gonna roll that one first anyway, so that gives me a 21. Yeah, that's gonna hit 21 and 3d8. <laughs> I'm glad this thing already took its turn. 14, 19 damage. 19 damage, you got it. And then bonus action. So you kind of like do this like little cannonball leap into it, and you kind of put both of your fingers out like this as you're going in and touching the tops of its mouth as you're <laughs> sort of shocking it. You kind of like finger gun like, pew, pew. and then as this thing is like getting electrocuted, it opens up its mouth as it's screaming, and you kind of roll out. Add four damage of uh, fury of the small. You got it. Nice. And then for bonus action. <laughs> I guess as a bonus action, I'm just, as you say, I roll out of it. I'm going to just, I used all my, no, I, I still got 10 foot of movement, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to disengage and move back 10 feet. You got it. You don't even need to. He doesn't have any reactions. Oh, so it doesn't matter. But either way, I want to just, I'll, fuck it. Disengage. Yeah, you got it. Uh, anything? I think else? he forgot that he's covered in slime now. He just shocked <laughs> it. He's just like. Ugh. I feel like sometimes he's when his weird shit works. He's kind of in shock that it worked. He's like, <laughs> "Wow, that worked! I'm still alive." Rocky, you're up. Last time. Uh, okay, I will move within melee and swing on this bitch. Just one swing on this bitch. Just like that. Nineteen or a fourteen? I think you need to like get a little bit of white paint That's on your 19. finger and like yeah, get shade it, it a little bit. That's a nineteen plus eleven. It's thirty minus five. Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah. God, I hope so, Rock. <laughs> oh, these are all dead. Let me pick you up, like House Chris would. <laughs> okay, Trump. <laughs> Thirty-five damage on the first one. Thirty-five damage, <laughs> Jeebus. And then showing the dose. I feel like we've been in this combat forever. What's that? Feels like this combat has been long. It, it actually hasn't been terrible. It hasn't been too long, but it's just like I guess with everything else, it's just take twelve to hit. Doesn't hit. Damn. Nope. Does not hit. Can't connect two in a row. Um. How, what what is this creature's size? Uh, it is considered a large. Large. All right, so I'm gonna try uh, a hammering horns to just shove him away. Okay. Um, so I need a strength save. Strength save. <laughs> <laughs> tiny, tiny creature. I got a uh, twelve. <laughs> twelve. I think this save is. Looks like you're eleven and a half. Right? <laughs> eleven point seven two. <laughs> I think it's like 10 plus your strength. Eight, 8 or 10 plus your strength. It's usually what it, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I think. Would you roll a 12? Mm hmm. Okay. I your is called what now? Uh, hammering horns. Super horny. Uh, let's see. Hammering horns. After you hit a creature with a melee attack as part of the attack action, you can immediately use a bonus action to attempt to push the target within five feet of you and no more than one size larger than you. It must succeed on a strength saving throw, DC 16. Oh, or be that? pushed up to ten feet away from me. Right, so I will imported from D and D Beyond. Oh man, this is really sweet. So I'll push it ten feet away. Nice. And it is hovering over Benji. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> 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 Benji smashed into the wall. Uh, Elvin. It's like it's ass right in its face. Um, so Elvin will literally run right in front of it. Um, and just like no emotion, just 
a nice swoop. Just cut swoop. straight off the neck. Aiming for the neckline. <laughs> this guy. Crit. What'd you roll, 18? No, crit, 20. Oh, you, were, you rolled a real 20. How much? <laughs> I want to be Brandon Smite so bad, but I'm not allowed because I forgot to do this. Mm, I need to see. It's a lot of twos and ones. Three, six, seven, plus four, 14. 14 damage? Yeah, that's it. For right now. Okay. I'll use my last channel divinity and pump 17 more points into it. 17 more points of damage? Still alive? Yep. S still standing? 21? 21 hits. Yay. I'm so good. I'm really good today. 12 more points of damage? 12 more points of damage. Still alive? Still alive. Is it bleeding? Uh, it, it, it looks pretty rough. Um, I mean, well, not quite like you could flick it and kill it, but I mean, it's pretty low. Bonus action, swing with my, uh, cast my spiritual weapon. Okay. And stick it up this thing's ass. <laughs> There's been a lot of finger butt jokes lately. 20. 20 hits? D6 plus 20. It's got its mouth open like it just Seven. burnt the roof of its mouth. It's like, <laughs> I just hit a hot pocket. <laughs> okay. Hot pocket. <laughs> Like it looks more beat up than you did a minute ago. If that <laughs> that helps. Well, Rocky, we share something in common. We both can't finish in clutch situations. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Don't you have like four kids? Rocky does. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming up. Clearly, he finishes something. Mm -hmm. uh, anything wait else from you, Elvin? Wait until the elephant trunk's growing. <laughs> Navenna, you're up. A hot pocket head. for breakfast, a hot pocket for lunch, be dead by dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and then I am going to firebolt. Firebolt! Because I've used enough spell slots. And that's probably going to miss. That's a 10. You are correct. That does miss. It's going to be sad in what? Being sad is always a free action. You left him. That's your mistake. Little Anything else from you, Nevada? No, I have used enough spell slots. All right, Liz, you're up. Okay. I'm going to this thing twice. Ooh. You're so strong. Uh, both 17. They both hit. Thank God I have plus 11 to hit because those are both sixes. Okay. Yeah, they're both sixes. Like Rocky's wife. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just insulted his fictional wife. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take psychic damage. damage from How much? Thirty. Thirty. Finish it off. Yes. Um, I just like fire bolts it the first one, and then it like turns over, uh, and then as soon as it turns over, it op like opens the mouth. I just fire bolt straight in the mouth. All right. So. All right. <laughs> so. You uh, you finish off the the Odiugs intellect of ours, and Tormund showstopper. And that show is stopped. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to do now? I go home. Loot. Well, the Odiugs don't have pockets. <laughs> the intellect of ours don't have pockets. They have prison pockets. So there's, there's just Tormund. There's Tormund. So should I roll? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need some <laughs> investigating as you're <laughs> trying to fumble around because it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> dark vision, yeah, that's great. not oh, like, no, that's not exactly night vision. No, it's, it's dark like vision. Black and white, yeah. Uh, ooh, um, Is that good? It sounded like it was 24, good. 24, I think. Let me 24. double check before I sounded, say. Sounded weighted. <laughs> yep, wrong hole. <laughs> Sounds like you explored the wrong, wrong pocket. Mm -hmm. 24. 24. All right. Hot pocket. <laughs> So, um, you see that he has, uh, it's sort of like a, like a backpack. It's sort of on the back of his back. He's got strapped on. It's real small though. It looks like, like a miniature size backpack. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like a little kid backpack. That's, that's actually perfect. Thank you. I was like trying to, it's like, it's like a thing when the kids carry it and it almost looks like a lunch box, <laughs> but with straps on his shoulders. Um, the bag looks pretty Very old and worn. <laughs> um, 
on the on the inside <laughs> flap, you can kind of like feel that it actually has Tormund's name on it. It says, "It says, uh, if lost, please return to Tormund Showstopper at the Hellfire Club." And you see the little insignia. Um, as you're kind of like rifling through, you find his Rakdos insignia, uh, his insignia like pendant for access. You also see that on his body he has his Rakdos insignia ring. Um, he's got uh, like it looks like really nice equipment. Maybe slightly nicer than some other people's equipment. <laughs> uh, he is wearing a uh, set of scale mail. Okay. Okay. And he has a, uh, it's like a, it's a, it's a rapier. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to take the ring, put it in the bag, and like all the identifiable stuff, move that aside, and then push the, take get the mail for... Okay. Elven and the rapier. But... So the the scale mail does not look like it is special. It just looks like a really nice mm -hmm. set of scale mail. It's very polished and, and clean. It Can you wear scale mail? I think so. I think it's. I think it's medium, well, right? Cleric, or is it cleric? So. Oh yeah. I think, I think hex blades get medium. Anyways. So you get you, then you get the scale mail. It's a, you guys are both roughly the same build, like a very like kind of thin. Plus you're a changeling. You can probably change the way you sort of fit. Um, I think Liz would go over to you, Nimbina, mm -hmm. and actually ask to see the ring. As she casts it. Um, he kind of like holds it out. Hey, yo, cast it into the fire. <laughs> um, and he, he kind of like looks to the party and says, I don't know if I ever told you guys this before, but whenever I, I don't actually know if I've told you anything about this at all, but or at least in this party knows, when I was disguised as Traven Bay. <gasps> Traven? Um, it was you! <laughs> I was pretty close with Tormund for a while. And this wasn't any, like, what he, this isn't like him at all, I'm assuming. Not his behavior. Yeah. Like, I, I would say this is just not like something anywhere close to what he was like. You always kind of remember him as he was confident, a little cocky, arrogant, and you guys met him too, but you spent yeah. a lot of time with him. Mm -hmm. He uh, he drank a lot. He was loyal to his friends. He he seemed to always talk very highly of his of his brother. Yeah, like I, I would like specify like this is nothing he would ever do to his brother. Like, you think he really killed him? It's hard to say. I think it's very probable. Whatever's this area is dangerous. It can control someone's mind, and I mean, he's not weak. Doesn't somebody in your party have a speak with dead spell? If anyone. I get it at, if I put more points in a cleric, but I don't have a high Sounds level. like you need a cleric for this job. Or someone carrying scoff bug that has speak with dead built into it because I homebrewed the item. Oh, it's a good spell. <laughs> um, well, we've never used that before. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty useful. I cast it. Okay. Oh, guys, you guys didn't ask. Now, hold on. Now, you get, you've never used Speak with Dead, ever. You get five <laughs> You get five questions. That's it. It reminds me of the D&D uh, &D movie. movie. Exactly. That's why I'm like, be careful what you ask, because I will count it. Right. 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 So as you cast Speak with Dead, uh, again, this sort of like, this white energy sort of like pours out of his eyes, and you see these like, the shadowy wisps of the, uh, the ethereal wings sort of like coming back off as uh, he's drawing in from his patron's power and the weapon's power to channel this spell. Um, he whispers out something in uh, Celestial. Um, if any of you speak it, it says, uh, well, never mind if I don't have to tell you. Yeah, I know. It's cool. Elvin, it's, uh, you actually are speaking in Celestial, which you can't speak. I speak giant. It says, uh, it says Awaken. I have questions to ask. And uh, you see the body of Tormund sort of like perk up to life, sort of like in a sitting sort of position. His eyes sort of flooded now with this uh, this whitish energy that's like coming off of his eyes too. Um, you may you may speak to him. Who did this to you? Uh, you're gonna need to be more specific. I'm I'm gonna let you have that one for free. So you want to try to rephrase that question? Because who did it to him was you guys just kicked his ass, and that's how he's going to answer. How about something like, was, were, you, were you being, was your mind being controlled by something? Is he the only one that can ask the questions? Yes. yes. Well, who was you guys can, like, we can guide him towards asking the question. Who was his boss? 
Yeah, yeah. Who was his? Who was Handler? He mentioned something like that. Yeah, yeah. He said the who, guy I worked for, didn't he? Yeah. Who? Who? Okay. It's like like who did you work for? And then I I would ask you to ask him how to if if he actually killed his brother. Yeah. Or like, who? did you kill your brother? Yes. Can I they, stabbed him in the heart with my sword. Can they lie in this form? Um. Yes. They don't have to be. They don't have to be truthful. Can I insight check it then? Yes. Don't worry, guys. Zone of truth. <laughs> uh, let me let me make sure that I am one hundred percent sure on that because I, I again, you guys have never actually cast this. Speak with dead. Uh, I wonder if we should ask him. Like it says. Um, Says the corpse only knows what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Its answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you are hostile to it or it recognizes you as an enemy. Well, I don't know that it could recognize. Where were you trying to take me just a second ago? To the pods. Maybe save that one for last. Yeah, we'll save that one if we don't have Ask him if I was his favorite performer. Let's save that for third last. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys ask who's stupid the, questions. Um, now, who's the big boss down here? Where's the other Who's the big boss down here? Ularion. Ularion? Oh, Ularion. Ularion. Oh, yeah, good one. Stupid. Nice. Yeah. Not all stupid questions, Rocky. I just said let's save it. I didn't say it was a bad one. No, no, I didn't take it that way. Oh, of course you didn't. Uh, Ularion is spelled uh, U L A R I O N. Ularion. U L A R I O N. Where were they taking Niv Mizzet? To see Ularion. It's four. We only have one more. Where is Ularion right now? Or Below. And then the uh, the energy fades from his eyes, and the corpse tips back to a lifeless state. So Chris is like, I thought you were going to ask my question. <laughs> um, six. That's going to be the sixth question. Yeah. Well, we can come back. Do you do realize that? You can come back and talk me. to him again in ten days. Ten days. Yeah, yeah ten days. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we'll worry. Him, we'll, we'll get him on the way back. Out. We'll stop that. If you live, we're coming back, and you're going to ask him. If my you question. live. <laughs> I think since that's our if you ever actually die, movie. he's gonna like cast speak with dead and go, Why didn't you ask him my question? <laughs> <laughs> I think Lizka would make like a makeshift necklace with a ring <laughs> as a memento. Uh, sure, yeah, the ring is an actual signet ring, it functions as a Rakdos signet ring. Uh, you can't attune to it unless you are a member of Rakdos. Can we stuff his body in your coat? Does it have any like personalizations I'm on it? I'm not taking it. Would it the bag. <laughs> no, it, lo it looks. I mean, it's <laughs> it's got some gems on it. Uh, it's got a couple of rubies uh, in the eyes of the skull for the signet. But other than that, it's identical. Uh, Scrizz goes over to his body, props him up. He's like, "Was I your favorite entertainer?" And he's like, moves his lip. Yeah, you were my favorite. You were the best. Don't worry, we don't have to come back now. <laughs> So I won't lie, the look on your guys' face when I told you Tormund, you yeah. guys were like... Mm. Well, we hadn't heard his you were like, name in motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I mean, forget. <laughs> such a long time ago we were supposed to look for him. You guys found him. Found, found him. him. Check it off the list. So, I don't know if it would help or not, because he's dead, <laughs> but I could ritual cast Detect Magic to see if we can figure out if anything was controlling him. Again, I don't know if it would work since he's dead. I can do... Well, you can do that. I can, I can cast Detect Magic. Okay. Interesting. Sounds like you need some. I mean, that might help anyways, because I can concentrate on that for the next <laughs> ten minutes. So, in case yeah. there's more. He's like, it's Kernel Mustard. or anything around us. He's definitely so. Kernel Mustard. 
I guess check for magical traps or okay. whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Detect Evil and Good. This lets me detect within a 30 foot radius if there are any aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiend, or undead. Aberrations? You detect aberrations. I know you've taken to... me to the pods, but like as I was getting closer to him, did I hear you put a mansion playing in the background? Um, as well as you know where the creature is located, I'm assuming direction wise. They're sort of crawling around. Great. On the ceiling, through the floor. Can I tell if there seems to be. I, I'm looking for any answers. If there's like one, kind of like maybe in the head area. No. So it was. It must have, I'm just, uh, this is Liz saying it must have been mind control. That's. They, I, he wouldn't do there, this. Do you think there's something in his head? I use detect magic no. around the same time. What if you're not powerful enough to Do I get anything it? off of... The normal magical things you would detect as far as your guys' gear and equipment. Like that. It'd be pretty cool yeah. uh, the sword that he's carrying Just is magical. Okay. The sword? Yep. Yeah. Are yeah. we sure? Are we sure you're powerful His enough? ring is magical. Mm. Just sure. the basics, but I don't... I didn't figure everything on any of the creatures. Are you powerful enough? For what? To detect anything in his head? Uh, probably not. I mean, I don't know how they get in there... The head, but I'm it, yeah, so as sort she's of explaining it, you just see Scoffball go up in the air and just go <laughs> and just <laughs> try to clean cut his skull and see if anything yeah. comes up. Yeah, um, you're able to, to cut the skull open pretty easy as the target's not moving. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, so you, uh, you 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 cut open the head and the, the brain that's in there is a is a normal brain. Well, case solved. Candlestick. Crown of mustard. <laughs> uh, and then a very awkwardly pats Liz, like, on the shoulder sideways, like, my condolences. Then yeah. throw it into the way. He's chopped off his friend's head. Say no. I mean, what did you expect? He stomped like a nurse's head in. That yeah. was like our scientist walking through the damn <laughs> undergrounds of the is it lab he's trying to get dead. away. He's like, but he's already dead. And I didn't chop off his head. You cut it open. You it's know, fine. I don't think if I if I haven't already been in the party with with uh, uh, like, I want with Elvin for a long time and was in a necromancer, I'd probably be pretty distraught. But okay, I'm pretty used to it. <laughs> As he's walking away, Scris is gonna have a little his little steel ball. And he flips it over by the body, and he put the little voice in it and says, "Ow, that hurt." <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, guy, why'd you chop off the bottom of my head? I will it's say to the party that, that, that we are currently surrounded by many aberrations. Yes, so. we should we should probably get going. Which uh, direction you think so we, we should have, go? They seem to like they are sort of like. Uh, because it lets you detect the sense and where they're kind of going. Mm. They seem like they are above you, below you. There's, they, uh, they tell door. you like how big they are. Yeah, go for that this door. Oh, that's where the pods are. Yeah. Do you know if there's a place or objects will be 30 feet? They're, they're sort of, you can tell that they're moving though. They're sort of like moving along almost like uh, like a freeway. Some are coming. It does not. The, the ones that are below you are moving like what they seem in like a sort of almost like downward. The ones that are above you seem to be moving in an upward fashion, like in the opposite direction. I'm assuming these must be more of those intellect devourers. Probably have a tunnel system that they use. It's disturbing. <laughs> yeah, who knows how many of those things are active above ground. Yeah. Keep your uh, keep your eyes peeled. Do we have space. any feelings the closer we get in this cave? You feel as though the tunnel on the left, which seems like it has like a slight decline downwards. This left? Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's where he was taking uh, so it. It seems to feel. It gives you a very uneasy feeling. I feel like that's the way we should go. I'm like, like Scrizz looks at it, it's like shivers a little bit. It's like, I don't think we need to go that way. There are, like I said, there are other like. Uh, you see, like, the other two chambers, and then there are several, like, kind of above them that are smaller, but... Ah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're gonna die someday. Yeah. I guess it's a good day, right? Or every other day, like some people. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, you still it. have the poison condition, correct? Yep. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do five points lay on hands to cure your poison yes. disease. 
That's helpful. Yeah. So that heals me I five was, points. I could have lost a rush rush. Um, yeah. Or it just takes care of the. I think it just it takes just care of the poison. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Well, he is afflicted by a disease. It, it's a, you have to, you have to, does, it, does it get condition. rid of a disease? It does. Disease and poison cool. condition. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. You have the poison condition caused by a disease. It's super weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it does. It's, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I remember it saying it gets rid of a disease. God, 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 God. God. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep up. So for ten minutes, I can keep up that detect vibration. Yeah. So if anything okay. like seems like it's like coming directly at us, I'll uh, keep an eye out for that. So okay. I'm gonna keep the tech magic. It does like a lot of. I can cure a disease types. or neutralize a poison. Okay, no, that's great. That's actually really, really, really good. It, it really detects everything but, like, aberration, or not aberration, monstrosities, beasts, and humanoids, and giants. Okay, so you continue down the pathway down. Mm-hmm. Um, as you uh, make your way down, it gets a little bit darker. As far as the, the cavern and rock structures themselves become a little bit more darker and a little bit less defined. Uh, you do see some what looks to be artificial light sources as you get a little bit further down. Um, it opens up into like a sort of like another spiraled like chamber uh, until you descend probably about 40 or so more feet down. Um, you, It sounds as though there's like skittering across the floor. There's skittering across the ceiling. It almost seems as though there's like many things moving near you, by you, and around you, but not really taking notice of you. Um, as you kind of walk into a uh, what looks to be a very large open chamber, uh, it's cavernous, it's rocky, but uh, there are several... Um, there are several uh, what look to be these chitin-shaped pod structures with humanoid creatures, faces exposed inside of them. Uh, there is what looks to be a, uh, a little, it looks like a, like almost like a cauldron of some type, um, in the middle of the room that has, this, uh, this, like, yellowish, uh, sort of light energy coming off of it. Um, it seems to almost be, like, bubbling or making, like, a, like a, almost like a soup or a stew sort of noise. Um, and it looks as though you are no longer just in a cave. It actually almost looks as though you're in some sort of a, a different structure, as this this chitinous material is sort of around the ceiling and more along the walls. Uh, you still see bits of the rock and stuff around it, but uh, the most interesting thing, besides the couple of chambers, these uh, these pod-like structures with the humanoids inside of them, um, is you see an illithid. Um, an illithid seems to be uh, he's he's very he's much taller than the short goblin ones that you've seen before. Um, he has uh, big tentacles coming out of his mouth. Uh, he's got the long, flowing, dark robes. Uh, he looks kind of scrawny. He doesn't really look menacing, per se. He doesn't look physically intimidating. Um, he is uh, taking something out of the like little bubbling cauldron and getting ready to put it towards the face of one of the humanoids in this pod. Uh, the humanoid you... Uh, you don't recognize the person like you don't know them specifically but you have seen them around in Ravnica should we do something before that whatever is about to happen happens um, how yes. far away is he yeah. he is uh, this this large chamber he's probably about 50 or 60 feet from where you guys are kind of like peeking around the corner um, give me a wisdom saving throw um, as you uh, are getting ready to do whatever it is that you are doing you see something coming through the back wall um, it almost looks as though this like portal or doorway or gateway opens up the portal or gateway is roughly 50 feet high and 20 feet wide um, and you see a familiar sort of like silhouette coming through um, as you see Niv Mizzet he pops through the portal and kind of walks in. He sort of walks around sort of like a cat-like structure, almost like surveying the situation. Um, and he turns his back to the entrance to the cavern and he is kind of like watching this um, this illithid getting ready to do whatever he is. Now, what is what kind of wisdom save do you want me to make? Uh, it's for command. <laughs> Probably not terrible, but 
but <laughs> let's see. That is a uh, nineteen. So you fail. God, you okay. remove curse. Um, as you um, attempt to cast the spell, it, does it take a verbal component? Mm -hmm. I think it's um, just your command. You're going to do something. You uh, you attempt to oh. use the spell um, command on the illithid, and it for a second it closes its eyes as as you try to sway influence over it. Um, you hear the very familiar laughter of Niv Mizzet as he sort of turns his cat-like body back around towards you. Well, I was wondering how long it would take for you've made it down this way. How are you, my friends? Is this normal? Well, we're doing fine. How, why are you down here? What's up? How y'all doing? Well, I'm fine. What you doing? Helping make Ravnica a better place. Insight that. Yeah. Well, in his mind, he's making Ravnica. I'm more so inciting the best I can if, like, because obviously if he's being, like, controlled in some way, like, at least not himself. Like an insight or right. something to see if it's an illusion or if it's actually there. Sure. What song did you uh, sing on That'd be an arcana check. <laughs> 21, on he Happy seems, birthday. it's always been really hard to read Nimiza. He seems like he's being genuine. Okay. How are you uh, attempting to make Ravnica better? By protecting us from things in the outside. Like mosquitoes? No, much more dangerous. Seventeen. Horse, you horse know, flies? Is illusion or not. Can't tell. Seems real. Did you uh, come down here at your uh, your own free will? Well, of course I did. You don't really think that a bunch of bipedal squid creatures could abduct me and drag me down here kicking and screaming? Well, I mean, that was kind of the picture that uh, people portrayed, so, you know, it's kind of what we thought you was kidnapped or dragon-napped. I appreciate the concern, but I'm exactly where I want to be. And that want to be is somebody's bitch? Oh, I'm no one's bitch. <laughs> you might seem to think that I am being swayed and influenced by these visitors, but I assure you, I'm not. So you're saying you want to protect Ravnica from outside influence? This is outside influence. Yes. You're not making sense. There's a plague coming towards Ravnica. Yeah, and I've seen it right now. Oh, worse than this. Oh, so there's something worse than this. So you're, you know this is bad, but you, you just want to protect us from something worse. They have the technology and means to keep our realm hidden. What's the cost, though? Very little in the long term. A few lives so that their people don't die off. Hmm. Can I cast uh, my divine sense to see if his demeanor has changed from, I think it was good before or good-ish. Because I'm pretty sure I did it to him before. He's lock weevil. Was he that before? Mm -hmm. okay. It's been past 10 minutes, so my detect magic spell is still is gone. I know that this is all very confusing for your feeble minds to understand. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't have to be hurtful. I don't think this is some way you would talk to us before. So why now? You have always been a tool. Well, I know who the tool in this room is. You have been a sharp, blunt instrument when it was needed. And I appreciate all that you've done. But you're not needed down here anymore. So I suggest that you go back to Ravnica, do whatever it is that your boring lives were like before, and forget any of this. No can do, baby doll. And then I'm gonna be like, no, as, as the leader of the Izzet, I banish you from the Izzet Guild. Mm, I don't think Turn in you your can. ring. <laughs> Yeah. On whose authority? Ooh, the leader. This guy. And 
there was a vote. The High Councils of Sorry Ravnica you weren't there. voted You're you out. You're too busy with your inside, outside, blunt, sharp influence. You have no idea what I am capable of. You come in here, hobbling along on your little tiny legs with your little tiny brain, and I could squash you like a bug. I'd rather be going out that way than the way you're going down. Yeah, and with that dragon side of yours, did it have any kind of picture of me putting something in your skull? I'd like to see you try. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. Anybody else? I saw talk? a much darker future. The Illithid have offered their services to shield us from outside realms. You are afraid of them. I am afraid of the Eldrazi. I am afraid of the Phyrexians. They want to bring their devastation and destruction here. And I don't have the means to protect the realm. And you don't have the means to fight the Eldrazi or the Phyrexians. I've seen the future. Ravnica becomes obliterated without their help. For now, I will use them like I've used you as a tool. Your services to Ravnica are much appreciated. And you have another enemy in mind. And it's not me, and it's not the Illithid. You need to deal with with Sadek. The time has come. He is a thorn in the side of Ravnica, and he halts all the progress that we've made. He originally struck the deal with the Illithid. He showed them the way here, and I thought his ramblings were madness. Till I saw it myself. This world becomes a wasteland. Sadek's intentions have always been his own. He wants to rule Ravnica. He thought that he could control these beings. And he thought wrong. I'm down here cleaning up his mess and playing diplomacy, if you will. The Scrisna believes in him. Make an insight check. I wrote in that one. <laughs> you think so? What does Jace have to say about all this? Because he is, uh, I think, technically the current leader of Ravnica, right? Well, he is the spoken law. So what does he have to say? I wouldn't know. He's not here. Should we hail him? Good luck. Uh, he said he'd be there when we needed him. Need Do you have a means of communication? We'd need a sign. Do you have a sending spell? I have a lot of spells. That sounds like a yes to me. So if you got nothing to hide and nothing to fear from him, maybe we should call him and consult. Fair. Seems Fair. like quite, quite a big decision for you to make for all of Ravnica kind just by yourself. You hmm. may be smart and shit, but you're only seeing out of your eyes. Fucking dragon burning and don't worry, that, that rat fuck son of a bitch, Sadek, he's going to get his. I have no desire to fight and destroy you. That's why we're going to talk it out with Jace. You know that, right? And if this is the path that you choose to take, I'll stand aside. You are beacons and hope for Ravnica. We are allies and friends. I have no desire to destroy you. And if you think that you can save Ravnica from all of its woes and troubles by heading down this path and ridding the world of the Illithid, be my guest. But just remember that the world and the fate of this world is in your hands should you choose that path. It's almost worse than fighting him. <laughs> True. I think, yeah, I think Skriz is looking between niv and Rock to Rock. And what is a world with these Illithid in charge worth? They're not in charge. Really? They oh. just want to set up another network to their home planes. It sure sounds like if they're not completely in charge, they've got a little more power than I'm personally comfortable with. And you don't think that I could destroy them if I wanted to? Probably. Well, here's the issue. That's my problem. You're they're linked not. to Ravnica. What about all the other worlds? What about them? These things can obviously 
travel between the worlds. Of course they can. They're gonna wreak havoc on all the other worlds if we let them grow like this. Possibly. It's a risk I'm willing to take. So if you I hope to learn their technologies and their secrets. So have you involved the rest of the guilds? No need to. Wow. What are they going to do? The Lord of Rakdos cares nothing for the woes of Ravnica, only wallows in his own self-pity and boredom. Tristani would rather see the world be gripped back into a natural state. She's as corrupt as anyone. Well, where did you just come from? You came from a big portal. Where'd you come from? Places. Well, I'm gonna need a better answer. I came from the inner chamber. Where is that? Through the portal. Well, where? <laughs> what universe? What world? It's here. Okay. It's in Ravnica. Well, under Ravnica. Well, I, I do believe we've we've had this oath pact for a long while, and that is meant to bring Ravnica together to make these kinds of decisions and not just hire one dictator to decide all the fate. Now, you could be right, but it's not your decision to make. I think it's the guilds. Jace should be here. We should all be here. Talk it out. Learn about the consequences. Talk it's an about interesting, the positives. interesting proposition. Is that your choice? Do you wish to go down the path of destroying the Illithid and any offers of hope or peace that they might give for a few sacrifices? I mean, I think Rocky got a point. You do, uh, but how much time do you think you have? Well, how long is it going to take to cast Seven Spells? Real question. You would need the rest of Ravnica to be along on board. That's what you just said. You want to sit and talk it out. But that's yeah. what the pack says. Because yeah. you're no better than Sedek. Sedek thought he had his own way, and it was the right way. Well, I'm not trying to control the Illithid. No. Yes, but I you're don't... trying to control the fate of Ravnica. How are you to... You're guiding them. To destroy all of them if you had to. They... They just sneak around and take control of bo their body snatchers. You know what? I'm done talking to you, Nim. Let's talk to Mr. Uh, guy over there. <laughs> uh, you see the 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 Illithid. Um, he kind of this whole time he's just been kind of very curiously, he's kind of just like peeking around the dragon, like looking. <laughs> yes. It's all this stuff right here. How can I prove that you're not controlling Nismizit right now? I suppose you can't. Is all this true? What are you saying? You have the power to stop Phyrexia and Eldrazi's and all those stuff? Um, maybe. So you're, maybe. You're, you're willing to throw away Ravnica on a maybe? Where's this big fucking brain at? You know, to us, you are food. Oh, okay. Nothing yeah. more. Well, you're nothing fertilizer. less. Oh. Hey, if you was working with all these bastards, why are they attacking us every step of the way? I mean, why wouldn't you just select a few, or like, if they just needed us as food? Why wouldn't you pick the scum of the of Ravnica, use them to feed them with, instead of just random bodies through Ravnica? Mm, I say this charade is boring. What'd you yeah, call me? Charade. That's not my name. And uh, he like reaches over on the console and presses a button, and Niv Mizzet fades out. Like and that's where we're going to end tonight's yeah, session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, here's a fucking screen. <laughs> like, oh, God damn it. I knew there could be two reunions in one night. Oh, man. What a great game tonight, guys. We don't All right. We play next week. We will not be back no. next week. We will be back uh, the following week to see what's going on with the Illithid, the uh, giant brain, the mind flares, and all these great things. See if we can find our homie Niv Otherwise, we'll be back not next week, week after. See ya.